Okay. Hey, how's it going? So we haven't had a podcast in what? July? It's like five months, six months. No, no, this is when we recorded it. So we haven't had a podcast in seven, eight months. And, uh, over Christmas, just like the past, like two years, I did a, there's dogs barking. Sorry about that. Um, I did a podcast with my brother and a couple other people who were just sitting around, basically everyone who was at our Christmas party, um, which wasn't very large. It was just, just family. Um, but after, after dinner, we all sat around the fire and just started talking. And this one had much less of a structure than last year's, um, which I think was mostly on like, if all actions were selfish, something like that, something along those lines, this one covered, we fucking went over a bunch of shit. Like it was a huge range of stuff. Um, so I, 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 I talked to everyone who was, who was recorded and they all said it was okay because we had, you know, a wide range. My, my uncle and I got into some debates about, um, religion. Uh, so did, uh, my friend Sean with my uncle. It's kind of just a, a round, a f- full round robin conversation. Um, I think my stepdad and I talked about life stuff and, and kind of how my life is, is beginning to mirror his a little bit, um, in the sense of like stepdad type things. And he was really happy about that. I think that was on this. If not, that's just some behind the scenes stuff that you, you now know. Um, Sean came out to my mom. Um, I actually wasn't outside for that, so I don't know the full extent of it, but that happened. So it was a, it was a good podcast. Um, update wise, just kind of living life. Um, well, I bought a house, so that's actually, that's a thing. So as far as me and my life, I bought a house. So I, I still live in, uh, around Denver, but now I actually live, um, a little bit outside of it. So as I, like I'm recording my, the intro in my backyard right now, which is awesome. It's good to have space to actually like do shit. Um, still some snow on the ground, not too much. I have this playground that I re- So when I moved in, there was this whole play set that looks like it had been hand built because it's all like untreated wood and things. And we took off the swing set because the swing set was utter trash. So I'm like, oh, cool. So I've got this tower and, and you know, I can just come outside and stand on top of it. And it's so rickety that I've gone up there once and I thought I was going to fall. But I already paid the guy to take away all of the scrap wood. So now I have to pay for it again. So I can't, well, I don't know if it's treated. If it's treated, I can't burn it. If it's not treated, I could. There's tons of metal, so I have to take apart the whole thing. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. But I have it. And it's not, it's a letdown. I'll be honest. It's a letdown. I could turn the area into a garden, though. That'd be cool. I don't know shit about gardening, but I know people who do. Um, what other life stuff? D&D is going well. I think we're on episode 51 as of recording this. Um, so I've had some, had some big reveals happen. Had The story has really picked up a lot. We actually will have a podcast about that coming out shortly. Uh, I, we recorded that... Is it February? So mid February. Uh, we're currently on a break just because life stuff. Um, some people had to travel. Some people just had work. So in that time, we had a podcast to talk about everything that's happened. If you're not caught up, that'll give you some summary uh, of what's happened. But I like it. I think our characters have really come together. Uh, but I'll leave all that for that podcast too because that's I'm gonna have to do, do an intro for that one. It'll be interesting because Carlos couldn't be there, but um, whatever. It's not important. Well, it's important. Carlos, you're important. I don't want to say that. I just meant that it's not important for this podcast because it's not about that. I'm going on a huge ramble now, so I'm just going to let let it go um, into the episode. So I hope you enjoy the Junk Drawer Show episode 40-something? Hold up. Let me find out. I should know what this is. I should have looked this up beforehand, but I did not. So I really hope this isn't like 
making a lot of noise on the recording. Where are you at? Okay. So July 13th is when we released it. Yeah, I was right. Okay. So enjoy the Junk Drawer Show episode 42, Campfire Talks, or something else. You have no neighbors. You basically had free room. You didn't have the rules growing up. Mm-hmm. No rules whatsoever. And so now you decided you just go out by your own, you have a bow and arrow and whatever clothing or whatever, you just build your own cabin, whatever. Mm-hmm. You go out there and you have complete free will, right? Mm-hmm. Nothing. But. Wait. Can, what, what's, one second, one second. I, okay, one second. Hold, I, I, hold I, I, that for one second. So it's so complete free will. But because you have now gone through the experience, of the seasons, the hunting, the way of lighting a fire, and everything you do, he moved up by free will. Everything he does, he's learning and he's doing it. I could be, no, I'm saying God, it could be a girl, whatever, mm-hmm. a person. So no, everything that person has learned from this and things like, as you said before, sticking your finger in the inner fire, you're going to be there once, burst, twice, shy, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, bow and arrow you can't shoot too far so you know you have to get close to animals you have to close you have to do this you have to cut the wood down in the early spring so let it dry so you can have a fire over the winter you still have free will but you're learning by experience mm-hmm. it doesn't mean you don't do things by free will yeah like you know andrea said about you doing something subconscious mm-hmm. because you have to do it because it otherwise it won't work you still have free will but what else can you possibly do to be able to survive but why do you why do you take each of those actions? Let's say you you are out into the woods. And which, all by yourself. Yeah, you're all by yourself. That that it's not. And why really... he was still the first? Though. Oh yeah, you there. had a point of information. No, go on. No, no, no. Yeah, no, I, it's, it's mute now. Go okay. Um, if you are in, if you are in the woods by yourself, and you just and you live there forever. Yeah. Right? Oh yeah. yeah. But let's say you don't. Are we assuming they don't know anything yet? Well, about, about living. Well, but that, that, that free will growing up, basically, they were not taught anything, and they, they just will go about themselves. I don't what want to be part of this. Right, right. So, so, let, so they have no experiences. Let's say they're, they're going up and self with no experience. Okay, okay so they don't know how to shoot a bow. They don't know how to make a fire. So, yeah. Right? So, the very basic. The very, they, they, they might need to shoot them because they need to do know something to survive. They're just okay. very extreme basics. Okay. So they know the extreme basics. I am not... I don't understand how that refutes my point because I, I think you're talking about actions as opposed to why those actions are made. Yeah, Look, I think I think that's kind of where it's going right. to. I think that's where we're disconnecting. What's your? All right, so I I agree with you in the sense that their free will isn't a thing. We, it's an illusion of what we think we have, right? Okay. The way it, that made me believe this or think this, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do my best to explain it. So we're all a bunch of atoms, am I right? The universe, every single one of us, we're made up of atoms. Mm-hmm. Those atoms all those atoms just randomly bouncing around to each, into each other. Say we had a computer that could map out every single one of these atoms, their paths and their trajectory and, every, and the result of what they're hitting, yada, yada, yada. Mm-hmm. You could essentially, in theory, map out everything that's going to happen. G- give, so, given the initial starting connect. Yeah, uh, exactly. Initial starting conditions, from the I agree. beginning of time to the end of time, or I'm sorry, from the beginning of time where atoms were and what, whatever made the move in the first point, and their resulting actions, you could map out everything that's happened in the world, including what's going to happen. So, I on. Think, wait, hold on. She had her okay. hand raised. I, sorry, I think you're correct. Like, I don't know. I, I'm such an integration person. I believe right. that like we are and we are not. Like, we are both things. So, like, with you having said that on a on a more basic earthly level, um, yes, like uh, you can say that our programming or our experience we do physio- physiologically respond to things before we even know what's happening right. like i'm like even my body right now like literally i feel like my heart races when i want to say something right. and it's probably from a past of not feeling like i can speak right. so like and then i recognize that i'm like oh yeah that's programming i'm going to make a choice to actually say something instead yeah. you know so like i don't i don't know i don't believe free will is an illusion because I think when you're I think you guys not you guys not all of you but 
we're talking about free will on a literal animal level. We're talking about it like we're animals on like a basic survival instinct level. But I think when you take it to a higher level of being aware of yourself and aware of your experiences. <laughs> you guys said, no, we have to get up at like freaking 4.45. Yeah. Oh my god. Why yeah. so early? Well, we're, we're, we're going on vacation. Holy oh, crap. Oh, we're oh, we're going going Thank you. We'll send you pictures. We're going to Georgia. Ooh, it's nice to see you. We'll go to Georgia? No, not like mountains Very like Christmas. you live in. Oh, Blue like, Mountains are great. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 Can't wait. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, we're, are you going to come back over? I just love no. being out. Okay. We'll stay here for a little bit. Yeah, no. Right. Georgia, we're going to be I went to LA once for like that. Oh, yeah. We're going to be just just north of that, like within 45 minutes. Bring it in, kids. Bring it in. Bring it in for the real deal. Well, you guys have a lot of fun. There you go. You too. Now you want to feel what I'm doing. Thank you. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it's very nice to see you. I've had a dish, man. Yeah, man. You guys too. I'm all from Alpha. I'm sorry. I didn't want you to go into the fire. I don't want you to go into the fire. I'm dying. I was like, not today, guys. Yeah, we're doing it. Hey, we'll bring it in. 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 Arnie, watch your step there, man. It's just like, you drive it back. I love it. You know what I mean? Guys, careful. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. You can text me. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, cool. Be proud of your dog. Stay on the straight and narrow. No, absolutely not. I want to expand upon that real quick. When I'm done. Oh, you're okay. Yeah. Which is your way to turn hers. So, it's the other two questions I have for you. Okay, let's do hers. Let's get mine, and then we'll bounce back to you. Because mine is just an expansion. Upon that. I hope I remember it. You're talking about how <laughs> so far we're only no, talking on the No, like the, there's just there's just uh, so much. But, so when someone says you know, something, there's it, like an immediate point that goes with it. There's, there's, there's a hard thing to thought and follow. Yeah, it, we also have six it, people here. It really so. is, yeah. But okay, I'm I'm talking more so like if you just okay, sorry. Let me just. I feel like we're talking about it on an animal level, and like yes, there are, for example, the the red light conversation. Like we know that there are consequences like, uh, to the laws of the land mm -hmm. if you decide decide to break the law there's going to be a consequence i don't think there's anything that's completely inconsequential like not even having a cookie is inconsequential you know it's good to see you again so um i hear i know yeah i don't hear anything else except for that okay okay I missed so, what you said, and I was talking to him. I know. <laughs> so what was the last part you said? When we start, she was just trying to start it back up. My okay. hand's in the queue whenever. Yeah, we got more. Yeah, boom, we boom. got a queue. <laughs> a queue. Oh, my goodness. I'll try to be quick. No, take your time. But, no, like, uh, I was just saying that we're, I feel like we're using a lot of examples that are, like, literal. Like, if you want to go Eastern philosophy, we're talking literal root, um, like, root chakra, you know, animal energy, survival instinct. Um, animal urges, you know, so I think that we understand that there are consequences to everything. So we, we understand yep. that there is a law of the land. And if you break that law, there is a consequence exactly. that comes with it. So just like on, well, I guess it is also mirrored on a higher level of, uh, I guess, more personal thinking to where you have more of an awareness of yourself for example the example i gave earlier just like to go with a different example it's inside? like yeah, right you know you like you're when you're getting angry sometimes you're like why am i so angry like what what you know it, like if you're not hearing from your significant other for an extended period of time and you just feel yourself getting upset and then it takes a while to figure out why you know so you have to decide at that point i, I think it's it's giving yourself accepting yourself and giving yourself a moment to figure out what's happening I think when you are not trying to use a higher level of thinking and you're always on the animal level then yes you don't I don't believe that you have free will I literally believe if you are always on that lower level of thinking you were practically an animal on the leash and if you are using a higher level of thinking then you then have the 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 consequence to that is you can actually say, hey, I don't want to wear this leash anymore. I don't want to program like this anymore, you know? So. Nope. Interesting. I, I understand what you're saying. Very good. Very good. Yeah. yeah. And I, I think that's an, a good point. I think the reason we're using the more base animalistic things 
is because they are easier to understand and map out. And because we're talking about a theory, we have to use something very simplistic that's not perfect mm -hmm. and not complete to convey the idea. Because I think that all these things apply to the higher level thinking as well. Mm -hmm. And I also, I, I also think that the program, the do you, does anyone have an issue with the word programming? No. Well, I, 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 when it comes to programming, it, 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 it sounds like there's somebody sitting there punching in numbers on you yes, that you cannot change. But that, different, like I, th I think, like Don and I, we think more about experience and wisdom. Okay, so let's. I'll try to use. Let's instead of programming, well, the learned experiences. Yeah. yeah you, so the the experience yeah, is coming in. Um, hold on. The experience is coming in. I don't think that it's only your experiences. I think it's it's also the epigenetic experiences passed down. I think that there is something that gets passed down from from parents to to children. You're talking about DNA or actually talk? DN uh, no DNA. I think that there is. I think. Hold on, stop. I, I think. I th like we, we we can only have one person talking, or this is not. This, it's too complicated. The I think that that there is there is knowledge passed down through genetics that we are unaware of. Mm -hmm. So it's not just your own experiences, but it's the experiences of your of your parents. Yeah. Can I try this? Um, yes, but let me finish the last thing. <laughs> the uh, <coughs> nope, I lost it. So yes, go ahead. <laughs> I think when he's saying programming, I think he's trying to start over with the knowledge and the inputs that we have received. Like simple. Is that yeah. kind of? Yeah. yeah, I only say programming because or because I write computers. programs. Well, so like, you're, you're pro like, yeah, it's like what Josh saying like through generations, like we subconsciously don't realize that's been something that's been passed down. Like right. for example, slavery. Yeah. Like the slaves, like African Americans today, are still like they have high depression rates, high suicide rates, and I feel like a lot of that le leads back to slavery. There's that genetic despair, lack of mentality. Yeah, well, I think like, realizing how to cope with um, that past trauma, and I feel like that's a big part in our decision making too. Is that genetic um, history but, that we don't even realize that we have? It's don't just, forget though, this slavery has been not necessarily just black. Yeah, no, but yeah, I, slavery but that's is the all main, over the world, the main, unfortunate, right. unfortunately. Yeah. Just the example, because yeah. yeah. it, it's like it's definitely there, but. There has been slaves of other races, but that's Absolutely. the one. Yeah, but that's the one I really mainly think of. Which just one? do um, African, -American. African American slavery, just like American African American. Uh, like, sorry, or no, no, you said it right. You yeah. said it right. So but, I just assumed. That's so, yeah. Saying, like, Wait, it, it is. It, do it. I'm just saying, like, all of it has like every like kind of slavery. There's like a basis. There's like um. Trying to remember, like, there's a mark. Like, left yeah, right. there's like a mark. Like yeah, there's like a mark left. Like we don't even realize it, but there is a mark. In a sense. I agree with you, but yeah. on that note, so I'm going to try to think of the best way to say this. Um, okay. I'll preface this that I in no way, shape, or form think that slavery was right or correct or anything. Don't think that. Okay. So it ended about 160 years ago. Obviously, we're talking about American slavery. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. It was definitely wrong, mm -hmm. but you, it's, you can't judge... The, I'm not what, wait, wait, let him finish. Let him finish. This is something that happened 160 plus years ago based on what the way things were then. That we weren't there. We only know about the history books. Based on what our societal beliefs are now. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. Yeah, no, we're, we're no, talking no, about no, something no, else. I'm talking about like, Ember. Yeah, I'm talking She's not saying whether or not it was right or wrong. Yeah, She's no. I'm what? just saying, like, people today, like, I'm not saying, like, reparations or anything. I'm not, like, going in that direction. I'm talking more, like, there's, like, a trauma that's left over and that passed is left down. Over. Well, Epigenetics. Let me go yeah. back. They, they, were, they were talking about, actually, Josh was talking about, he believes that DNA is passed, knowledge is passed through DNA that you don't never have, you never have to learn because it, he said it's passed through the DNA, yeah. not necessarily actually learn by experience or wisdom. Mm -hmm. that, like, it, epigenet that, epigenetics yeah. is what it's called. Or is that history that we don't even really, like, we still don't understand that's the hard to prove. concept of DNA? It is. It is. <laughs> Like, so, genetics is so, like, varied still to this because, day. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I mean, if, if you were born and had no, unless you, like, raised by wolves, would that change anything? Like, okay, so so no I matter where, like, let's, yeah. say, let's say if you took, let's, you took a uh, black guy from Africa, a, a white guy from, uh, let's say, from Norway, mm -hmm. a Chinese, an Australian, like, all over the place, and put them together from children up. And would they would they even know anything? 
like would they actually how the DNA from the parents would that even come into play? Like let's say you put them on, let's put them on the island with nothing else. They have to figure out how to survive. Mm. I, I see what you're saying. That that's not. From my understanding of yeah. what epigenetics is, it's not that you are able to just do everything. No, not everything, but I said, but what, 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 I mean, how do you know what, is, I mean, is, I how do you quantify? I, I can talk to that. Are you talking about like the viewpoint of the world? Is that what you're talking no, about? No, I mean, no. I mean, any, anything and everything. I mean, talking about everything, because if you're talking about anything passed oh, down perfect. from mm -hmm. your DNA, could, could how, oh, how do you prove it? The only way to prove it, if you actually put that isolate somebody and knowing what the parents or the grandparents or maybe know like a generational line where that child came from and then kind of isolate the child and figure out that child learned that didn't learn that yeah i i can i can use i can speak to that a little bit i i'm i'm rusty on the exact experiment or the exact observation so an example um from what i remember is you have uh i believe like hawks are predators of small primates, huh? I'm sorry, go ahead. I'm so I, I believe that's that's the case. But let, whatever the animal is, it's afraid of its predator because it will eat it, right? So they've observed that in captivity, the children of of animals that used to be in the wild that had to fend from predators. Not those animals, but the next generation are still afraid of those animals that they've never seen before. Mm. The that's the idea of epigenetics is that there are certain things passed down, but, like very base level things. But, and, has, and, but no, no, that has not been done on people, though. But talk about animals. I think it's right, right. the right. African American community. Actually, there is a, a research study based on like how slavery has impacted the generations of like now, like Josh and I, like our generation. Like yeah. not in like saying like you know. No. But racism and like, okay, stuff, but but, like, depression. but how much the okay. purview of what's instilled from media, instilled from books, instilled from a teacher's <clears throat> personal opinion on things? How much of that is instilled? In other words, if you took a to Arnie's point, an African American child um, as a baby doesn't have has conscious obviously, yeah, but yeah. as a baby and moved in the wilderness off the grid in Alaska. Are those things going to follow him? He, but it, it's it's not it's not. Hold on, I, no, I'm I'm talking to that. It, it's not it's not that the. I, I don't want to use people because it's it's too complicated to talk about this high theory, this like very abstract idea. That's why I'm using like animals. Animals. Um, it's it's not something as detailed as that. It's like it's a nuance, and it's something that I don't know enough to talk to other than just kind of like yeah, explaining the idea. So think if you heard there's like a, there's a saying along the lines of we we are stuck with the traumas of our parents that we are unable to understand because it's not our trauma. So like things that my mom dealt with that that she is that she struggles with, I struggle with without actually experiencing the same thing she did. But you that's knew the of idea. Them. But you knew of them. Maybe I. I don't know. I'm. I. I have like issues with depression and anxiety. I don't know why, and I don't know so, where hers came. That, that from. All, but so does so Kaylee. Kaylee. Kaylee has. Kaylee has uh, she's bipolar, mm -hmm. and Kaylee, she have a lot of issues like that, and uh, that came from uh, because we believe uh, Bill, the grandfather, is. Mm -hmm. For example, and then all this kind of funny. I, I flew with a flight attendant. He was from uh, Oil City, north of Pittsburgh. So I flew with him as a flight attendant, and so we're talking, and uh, he's a black guy, and he was gay. So um, so we sit talking, and uh, and uh, so I said, "Where are you from?" I'm from Old City. I said, oh, "How was growing up? That was awesome. It was it was fantastic. I mean, we had a wonderful time." And he said, um, "He said I left uh, Old City and finished my last year in high school in uh, in Pittsburgh." He said, "And somebody down there told me I was black." <laughs> and I said, what? And he goes, what are you talking about? He said, well, you're black. He said, I grew up in Old City. He said, I, I think we were only black. He said, nobody ever said we were black. We were just treated as one of the people. And said, nothing was ever different. Mm -hmm. So he said he didn't know anything about the black problems until he actually went to Pittsburgh and was told about it and learned about it. And, and and then he was gay that's, too. That's not the point. Yeah. Yeah, but like the. It's like but no, but I'm talking about. The, I moved to Tennessee and I like 
dealt with racism. Just because he didn't experience it doesn't mean somebody else didn't. No, but what I'm saying, so the, the, I, I only can learn to tell yeah. you what I know from that. Yeah. I've talked to this one guy, and I was like, I thought that was, I thought that was very interesting. I was like, and of course he said, and then I'm a couple. I'm, a, I'm also gay. <laughs> <laughs> so if I may. Because I, I've had the same question for pretty much the whole, the whole time of the conversation yeah. happening. How I, I understand what Josh is saying about, for example, like the hawk example. Like some some things, like have to be carried over on, on an instinctual level in order for a species to survive in some capacity. Hawks mm -hmm. have to know, like for example, an animal has to know what they can eat and what they can't. But it's also like when it comes to humans, like I don't think we can even have the com that type of conversation because everyone, in order to have that conversation, like physically, to speak, to use a language, you have to have environmental factors that will come in at some point in time in order to change what would have happened if you didn't. So I mean, how can you really, like, it, grant, grant it's a theory, but I mean, how can you actually kind of do? any type of research on that without by completely isolating a human being exactly from society in any shape no i mean, I, I i agree then, with you and that's sorry one, one more thing and also how i don't want when, when it comes to people because we we know how our bodies work in terms of um kind of what you were saying with the slavery thing and with depression anxiety suicide rates blah blah, blah. Mm -hmm. granted that can also have other ways of coming about which could be environmental and not technically on that, which could sway results in terms of a study. And then coming to what you said, kind of regarding the instinctual passed down uh, knowledge, mm -hmm. how can we study that in, in individuals when we know, um, going back to what he was saying with the, with the Alaskan type of situation, theory, yeah. when we know the brain is a series of evolutional signals for memories, thoughts, and processes. Exactly. And... and with what you're talking about, what you're talking about, and, and what's going on right now <laughs> is where my heartache sometimes comes because I, I believe science, okay? But science <coughs> is not exact. Science is not exact. There's going to be opinions. You can have, if it's exact, it's exact. Okay, so if I drop a bowling ball off the top of the Empire State Building, how fast does it fall? It's terminal velocity. It falls. Yeah. What's terminal velocity? I don't know. Terminal velocity it depends. Thirty-five. No, Thirty. Exactly. Thirty-five second. Thirty-five feet per second per second is what terminal velocity is. That's what of, it accelerates. It's of a specific object based on its coefficient of friction in the Exactly. It's so it's not exact. No, it is not exact. What's the shape? Is well, there an so updraft? I, no, I, can, I, know, I can prove it's exact. It is I can prove to you right now it's exact. So variables change the exactness <laughs> of science. And if it, science no, no, is exact, no, 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 <laughs> Hold on. We were, talk, we were talking free about free will. I brought epigenetics up as a way to say that I think there's inputs that we are not aware of. Mm -hmm. If we're talking about – science is a, is a process. It's not a thing. Yes. So, no, science is not exact, but it's a process to find a more exact thing. What you're talking about, it's not an exact finite point. It's an exact formula to describe what will happen given the correct – the, the – Like a hypothesis is what you're saying. The yeah. It, yeah. It, 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 it's a formula. It, yeah. <laughs> it's – it, it's it's a formula to give results given an input. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, that makes sense. Okay. Gotcha. Remind me what you're asking. So also, real quick, I don't. That's more of a statement. Yeah, but uh, also let's let's get away from the like the race part and the human part because that's way too muddy to talk about this this yeah. very like. No, I get it. Yeah, the, everyone's got a different experience. That's the thing, and you yeah. can't really truly understand somebody's experience because everyone's different. Yeah, Everyone and also none of us are black, so we can't even really yeah. talk about that in a in a deep way mm -hmm. when we're trying to talk about a theory, not well, an individual I mean, experience. I, I, but I don't understand all that. I'm, I'm which I'm trying to say because I know uh, uh, I have some Indian friends that their family are basic are, are slaves in the Middle East. They're Indians, and they, they have a horrible time. They, I mean, they're they're they are being abused and trying to get out of there. It's almost impossible. They can't get any help mm -hmm. because they're Indians. So. Slavery, I mean, our past history is slavery, you know, predominantly black, no doubt about it. But we also like don't forget that slavery is all around the world. It's not specific. It's not right, race. but we're not talking about slavery. I don't, that's why I want to get no, away no, from that's slavery. What I said. So let me, let me talk about that. Don't say slavery and black because that's that's only more specific to the United States. Right, but, but we are living in America, so that's what we can. Know, but mo it, let me finish. That's what we can mostly talk about. 
if I may, so what? Which part of my statement were you referencing? Uh, I kind of forgot what it was. So, so there was one um, about electrical signals and how memory carries your epigenetics. <laughs> the rabbit. Just say rabbit. That, so rabbit. you create bias in results. Yeah, yeah. The other one was in terms of um, the the person's environment creating the bias in results. Mm -hmm. In terms of being able to study it and also them being our, them alone being able to articulate those results is also in sense a bias. To, bias with the fact that it could be limited by their environment again and teachings yes i agree i i i don't i'm not 100 percent convinced <laughs> that it exists it it feels like it's real and it makes sense when i think about why are people afraid of snakes mm -hmm. someone who's never seen a snake might still be afraid of a snake mm -hmm. like that kind of thing is 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 evidence not proof but it just actually looks dangerous though well but I why that, why does it look dangerous but, because of the way so, that it approaches uh, but, but, but what does that people mean people are scared of the unknown no island island loves snakes right some people some people island are from, love snakes. Well, some people do so i think that is actually like right? that i think actually is epigenetics but it's not in the sense of the actual animal it's a sense of how the animals throughout history have like evolved to, to appear in terms of color and stuff like that for example mm -hmm. like um what I think I think it's salamanders where the depending on the actual colors and the vibrancy of the colors will determine if it's poisonous or not. Mm -hmm. I think it's salamanders. Don't quote me on that. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I think it's that type of like recognition of what we would have seen in a non-urban environment that triggers our brain to like, hey, like maybe this isn't a good idea. That's yes. Not our yeah. decision. That that's what I'm that's what I'm saying yeah. with <laughs> epigenetics because when you say that when you say that a a, well, one sec, one sec. I, I just want to—I want to continue down this path. I'm not interrupting. Okay. When you say that a <coughs> snake looks dangerous, why does it look dangerous? Uh, There's a lot of factors that go into that. Well, I, I know, but if, that, if that, something that, is yeah. a. I mean, if something is approaching me yeah, in, in an aggressive way, I'm going to say that it's dangerous because I don't know what the intention is. I can only assume the intention is. Danger. Yeah. Why do you assume something <laughs> coming toward you is dangerous? Aggressively, because, quickly, so, with fast. Because yeah. usually that, that that is a hunter's skill. And also picking up off of that, um, in terms, if you look at everything nature-wise, if something with forward-facing eyes we know to be a predator, mm -hmm. with kind of when something has more general view of their surroundings and kind of behind them, we know it's not more basically be prey yeah so i mean i also that i feel ties into the genetic that, that's the kind of stuff that that makes me feel like epigenetics makes sense or, because or basic I, instincts right but that that's another way to say epigenetics yeah. is that that well, instinct not necessarily is that, that, that could also be the foundation of human mankind that's right not, not necessarily your dna from your parents but basic instincts from human mankind mm -hmm. That's but where part of our DNA from from the from the that's number one, that's right? That's what I'm saying. Let's say, let's saying. say it's from Adam and Eve. Let's say that let's say that because the let, let let's go down that path and okay. say that <laughs> that Adam and Eve is 100 percent like let's say we can prove it. First people, yeah. first people. Yeah. The snake is what gave them <laughs> the original sin, right? Yep. So that could that would then be the reason that snakes are bad. Could be. That could be passed all the way down. That's the epigenetics. Is the the, the well, instant I thought, recognition? I thought, I thought you meant specific from your parents. No, I won't. That's well, what I thought you meant. Well, I, wouldn't Adam and Eve be everyone's parent? I know, but I thought I don't thought you meant specific like DNA from your parents and grandparents and like that. They're closer, not 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 way back when. I thought right. That, well, it it could be. It, it yeah. just might not be as strong. If it's it's been the same signal over and over and over, it's going to get louder and louder and louder. But if it's something new, like I misunderstood you there. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, I, I, I think you're right. Um, oh wait, was Him. we finished that? Don, we finished yeah, that, right? Yeah, okay. Okay. So, do all of you think that in 20, 25 years people. from now, kind of, yeah. that you will think different than you are thinking right now? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Do, well, that, Absolutely. That, that, because that, of free will. Very, <laughs> very broadly. Because it all depends broad. on the community who is studying that and their blah, 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 okay. blah, results. So... <laughs> You can't teach experience. No. And I say these things I want to follow with because not only have I done them, Arnie's done them, other people have done them. Okay. Um, at 28, you think different than you were when you were 15. Because I remember sitting on the top of those stairs, me and your mother talking to you when you were 15, mm -hmm. when we were telling you you got to go get a job. Mm -hmm. And we were like, so... Josh, we have this house, we have two cars, we get all the electricity, the cable, the food. How much do you think that costs a month? Do you remember your answer? No. 
uh, about seven hundred dollars a month. That was your answer. <laughs> yeah. You don't. You know now that was fucking idiotic because you're yeah. twenty eight. You're not fourteen. Uh huh. Okay. Arnie's seen it. I've seen it. Uh, the brand new new hire fo comes in. It's like I'm gonna fucking change United Airlines and I'm gonna be best pilot it is and you know I'm gonna do everything I can for the company. And five years later, and, and he goes, Yeah, okay, talk to me in five years. Mm-hmm. Five years later, he's like, Dude, you know what? You were right. Um. People that are gonna get married, I'm not. I'm. I'm just using you guys. Damn, I'm not saying you may go. I, got I know guys. everybody else is different, but you know what? We're never gonna fight, and we're gonna have sex every night, 365 <laughs> days a year. Come talk to me in a year and tell me how that's working. Hey, that's out not for true. You. So <laughs> <laughs> the point I'm trying to make Wait, is, on, as you finish. get older, and because you, you can't teach you you. you you can teach a lot of things, experience, and I'm not talking down to you guys. Please don't think I am. I don't. No. I feel like you are. Experience <laughs> is something you can't, you know, if it, if it wasn't for the, the fact you would die, you could hop in an airplane and eventually teach yourself how to fly. Because you right. crash enough times and go, fuck, don't do that again. Mm-hmm. But there's a, I'm going to die thing. Whoa. So the point I'm trying to make is what Arnie's been saying and the little things I've said are based on us being in our 50s. So we think different than mm-hmm. you guys do in your 20s. Now, granted, things have changed from when we were in our 20s. But life experiences are what... We're not, I'm taking the religion part out of that. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Is why we're saying the things we do. Yeah, and I don't think, I don't think anything you're saying is like not supported by your experience or not thought through or dumb in any way. And Riley one day, she's going to be 15 or 16 and she's going to tell it to you she knows everything in the world. And you're going to go, little girl, guess what? No, I know. And I, I'm, I'm not trying to say that I know everything. Been I'm, there, done that, smoke. No, 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 I, I, for just longer to, than you. Okay. Come on. I'm, I'm but done, it's I'm a direct done. response to that. Well, let's be fair. Mine's, mine's like two sentences. Okay, so go you, ahead. You, can, you can't read experience... But you can read oh, results. Yeah, Whether or fine. not you, ch- you choose to believe those results is your, it's up to you. Choice. So I mean, Expound a little bit. So, like for example, <coughs> you, the the new hire, right? He, granted, he doesn't have the experience you guys do, right? So he's not going to be able to make the decisions that you guys would, so so to speak. But he can read what happened in the results and what you did and figured out and could figure out how to solve said problem without having the experience of doing so for example i I didn't create calculus but i could learn calculus type of thing like granted i didn't have the experience that newton did of creating and discovering integral integral and differential calculus but i could still learn it but book knowledge is different than street knowledge. Yes, but you you can you can read results. <coughs> you can read a process. You can see co- you can read cause and effect even if you didn't have that happen to you. You can still okay. make informed decisions based off of your knowledge. But like, well, all three of you boys, <laughs> you, you own houses, okay? When you guys all bought your houses, you just you're the newest one, and him and him, without saying a word, and still from this minute forward. I know that issues, not specifically your water here is going to blow up. I don't mean specifically, but you're going to have issues. You know why I know that? Because I've experienced it. You're going to have them. Yes. Maybe that's confirmation but, bias. So I've experienced it, so therefore it's going to happen to you. No, no, I no, 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 no. I, I know what he's saying. He's he's saying not, you said you have specifics because my water, he blew, water heater blew oh, okay. up. Right. doesn't right. mean yours is going to. But I know you will have that issues. Okay, okay. Yeah, right. so, there's something that it's because it happens to everybody who owns a home. Okay, so water heater, right? So we'll stick with that. One. You, you, has your water heater broken in the past? Yes. Okay, so if mine has the same issue and I go, or sorry, if yours had the issue and I'm anticipating that mine's going to have the exact same issue, I could go to you on how to solve it. And you could tell me either how to prevent it or how to solve it when it happens. And without having that experience, I could still solve said problem, hypothetically. No, I wouldn't say that. If, if you would ask my advice based on being a homeowner, I would say, Sean, plan on over the next few years, continually, there is going to, I can't tell you what it's going to be, but there will be an issue with your house that's going to cause you inconvenience, it's going to cause you money, and is going to, it, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Well, yeah, so and for- it, again, to the, I mean, if I cut you off, I'm sorry. Um, it's just like the, <laughs> when, when I was your guys' age, and again, I'm not talking down to you, I was freaking bulletproof. 
nothing's gonna hurt me. I'm not gonna, you know, <laughs> when I hit in my 40s, I was like, oh wait a minute, this shit hurts. Oh, I'm not gonna do that. I might die. It's it's just age and experience changes the way you look at things. It just you guys all, every single one of you right now, look at things different right now than you did 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. If you yes. could look, if I could pull up a screen and show t you guys 10 years ago, you'd be like, man, he's a fucking idiot. But, like, <laughs> you the, would. The point I'm trying to make, though, is even though I haven't had those experiences, I could still acquire knowledge through not those experiences to make the same informed decision that you did having experienced it. Well, you can. You Yes, you, you are correct. You can acquire knowledge. But like I said before, you experience whatever it is driving a car a race car flying an airplane hunting animals shooting guns whatever it is experience cannot be taught no it, I, I can agree experience has to be learned it cannot be taught I agree yeah I'm I'm I agree with you I'm confused what point you're you're talking to no. or is it just a, is it a new topic no no my po my basic point is that the disagreements if you will, uh -huh. or the discussions we're having are based on 20 somethings and 50 somethings. Right. So but, we, but look, we look at things just because of our age yeah. and what we've gone through in life. We are going to look at whatever the subject is outside of something benign like how do you water your grass or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to look at, we're going to look at it different than you are because we're, we're in a different demographic for lack of a better word eight we're in a different than you are okay yeah. <laughs> riley riley's world is way different in her mind than it is you guys mm -hmm. not because she's your daughter but because she's four she's not in her 20s when in, in 10 years when she's 14 and you're 38 and you're you're 26 now 27 27 and when you're 37 yeah when I went yeah. Out yeah, yeah. You, okay, you're going to look at her different uh, because of her <coughs> age, but it's, it's you can have 10 more experience and 10 years more experience in life. You're going to look at things different, not only because you progressed 10 years, but you've gone through 10 years of her progression and the things that go through. Oh, no, yeah, there, you know, just, there's there's no book on raising a child, okay? Right. Did I make mistakes with you? Fuck yes, I did. Hell yeah. Yeah, like everyone makes mistakes. And, and you're going to go, I'm not going to do, Don did this, Don did that. I, I was a step, he was my stepfather. You're you're going to be a stepfather. But you're still going to make mistakes. Mm -hmm. Oh, 100%. You're still going to. Yeah. But in the end, you're going to say, like, I'm, I couldn't be freaking more fucking proud of you, excuse my language, than I am. And, and Donovan, too. I really could. And I watch you with her. And... It freaking warms my heart watching you with that little girl and watching you with her. It really does. I'm like, I may have done some shitty things. I may have fucked up, may have done things wrong, but it was not out of ill intent. And I know that. I do know that. And I'm like, Josh is his own man now. That shit makes me happy. And I didn't have experience when, you know, you didn't ask me to come into your life. I was thrust upon you because of the decision your mom and I made. It's mm -hmm. like, hey, Josh, here he is. Guess what? Here's a guy going to tell you what to fucking do. And you're like, <laughs> Yeah. And what every parent wants, parent, step parent, whatever, and I don't look at you, I look at you, my son, not my stepson, is to be more successful than I am. Mm -hmm. And that's what I want. And I, I tell you, right, looking at you with her, you're going to be a freaking awesome. I'm telling you right now. Oh, here he comes. Jess, he's going to be an awesome stepfather. I'm telling you right now. Oh, I, I, he's amazing. No, he is. He's and, amazing. I'm going to give you guys an example of free will right now. My wife told me that I need to leave, so I'm going to leave. <laughs> <laughs> That's not like being told. Yes. Hey, I'm Merry Christmas. Well, well, again, I love it's not again. inconsequential for him. So <laughs> he knows that. That's true. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. something going on. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Enjoy the rest of the <laughs> Oh. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh, good to see you. Good to see you too. <laughs> so I have a point to that, by the Merry way. Christmas. Which one? 
to the experience to, to experience in children and epigenetics and passing down and all yeah. that stuff. Okay. okay. Also, you, you, know, you watch your parents. Like you know, you can gain experience. And so, much. so, so free will. I know that I, if I leave now, my wife is happy, and then I keep her happy, and I'm going to be happy because I kept her happy, so I'm leaving her free will, even though she told me so. Happy wife, happy, happy life. Right. right. That but, uh, won't be me. I'm the father, one in your, charge. Your, 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 your father <laughs> is right, though. It's like, because we come from there, and don't forget yourself. one thing, too. That's what I said with we have little the way we like, communicate yeah, anymore. I'm the parent. It's like, so different than what we did when we were young. Oh, yeah. Another market. So I guess I'll join you. Yeah, to box marshmallow yourself journey. into because we like to box ourselves into in our belief system right so I I'm conservative right oh, but I read extremely liberal media in Europe mm -hmm. because I want to expand my horizon understand what people are thinking and what they're doing mm -hmm. and I still read and experience other people around the world because I don't want to box myself in yeah so if you do that throughout your life try to don't just live in your own little box mm -hmm. and you can learn from other people's experiences as you said about the water heater thing you can learn from it mm -hmm. you know you might blow out the freaking roof yeah. but, <laughs> but but you can actually if you're willing to learn have your eyes open listen and and actually learn have discussion like you're doing right now it's mm -hmm. awesome but do that keep your you know it's amazing well you say just like he said the way you're thinking our age it's gonna be way different yeah oh, i'm i'm sure Take care, Arnie. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Did we scare Donovan and Andrea off? I don't know. Andrea's right here. here, here. <laughs> she's, she's like, I'm cool. Oh, there you are. Three points the relationship is right here. <laughs> Where's Donovan? Where he? We scared he, Donovan I off. I think he wants to go pee or poop. One of the Probably poop. He's been gone a while. Poop, yeah. We're not going to see yes. him for two hours. Yeah, he may be gone for a bit. Yeah. He's so going to restart his RuneScape account and be gone for an hour. <laughs> oh, my God. I got I to gotta do my, my skill yeah. test. Skillish. <laughs> oh, <my laughs> no, I mean, Joe Josh, I am... I'm very proud of you. Thank you. I really am. I'm not. Thank you. <laughs> and he's not here, but I'm proud of Donovan. You go, yeah, no, thank you. No, he's definitely, we've all come a long way. Yeah. It's been, it's definitely all, it's been a journey. And, you know, I watch you with Riley, and it, it's freaking awesome. It really I mean, I'm surprised. I, I'm just like, oh, yeah, like, it's so crazy. I don't just like earlier when we, when we went outside. But you know, kind of, kind of, if you yeah. think about it, kind of going to, what was the word you, eugenics? Or? Epigen, no, <laughs> no, epigenetics. No. <laughs> Whatever, okay. So <laughs> let's think about it. Josh is 13 when him and, when me and his mother got married. Uh -huh. So now I'm a stepfather come in there and all that. And what's he doing? Not the same age, but I mean. Yeah. You're, I mean. That one, I don't think, is epigenetics. No, I, I know. I, no, 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 I, I, I want to build on that, though. I, I think it's more, um, the, the two things that I think we've talked about, at least one of them, is I think having you come in showed me what it can be, you know? And it's like, yeah, we had our differences, but it, it, it was an overall good experience. You know, I'm glad yeah. you're in my life. Don't make him cry. <laughs> <laughs> the, so it's like, I, I saw that, I saw what it can be, I saw the the respect that you had for my mom and for the pre-existing relationship but still presenting what you thought was best because you thought it was best not because like I need to be the and one that doesn't mean I was right because I wasn't you know it here's Donovan loves physical labor loves it mm -hmm. Josh detests it close for the most part <laughs> yeah but and I was like fuck it he can live under a fucking bridge but he decided, you know what? I don't want to dig ditches or whatever. So he said he did what he had to do to do what he wants to do. Working from home, he could move wherever the hell he wants. He decided what he wanted to do, and he did it. I have a lot of respect for that. Thank you. And so, him and Donovan are going to support me when I get old. <laughs> that's why we're starting that business. <laughs> well, that's why... You're gonna invest in my business. That too. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And John, family is it good to own a house? <laughs> we'll see. No. I mean, it's got it has a lot of pros. Yeah. But there's a it, it, there's there's cons. You there's know, gives and ever. takes. There's gives and takes. It is. With great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> no, honestly. Thank you, I, Uncle Ben. I, honestly, I, I love my house. I do. Yeah. I do. No, it's like, I, it's on, great, I got super yeah. lucky for the price. Of no, that's a nice house. 
so the the other reason is Eli because he's he's kind of permanently young you know I feel like I've I grew up knowing how to deal with someone who's not like the way I interact with Donovan is much different than the way I interact with Eli right. you know and because I've had that practice in, in my formative years through my entire life like dealing with Riley is just like all right cool <laughs> you know so I guess toning it down a notch more serious um I mean I'm 51 your mom's 54 we're getting older <clears throat> If it comes down to it, are you going to be there for Eli? Yeah, that's been in my mind since I was like 14. Because we're not going to be able to, and, and I've been, it's obviously a sore subject with a mother, and your mother, and I'm like, we we can't, you know, in, in 15 years, maybe 20, we're, we're going to barely be able to take care of ourselves, I know. much less him. We need to start, not, not meaning you, but now is the time to think about it, not... I, I've been yeah. thinking about it for over a decade. It, it's always been in my head. I think there's a large... He is a large reason why I'm so driven to get to be successful and comfortable and safe because I know that that's coming down the pike. I know at some point he's going to need me. I want to thank you for that. Yeah. And, and that's something I know we, we talked about. Like, even, even in buying the house that I bought, knowing that it had a basement... In the short term, Airbnb, but in the long term, it's a place where he, if this is the house that I were to stay in, there's a place where he can feel independence, but he can feel connected, you know, and that's, I don't know. I, I know I've told you this multiple times already, but it's, He's back. Hey. and that's, that's not, an, I, 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 it's, that's not an easy burden. I know that yeah. it's not, but it, it's not something that, there's never a time where I'm like, I don't want to do it or I don't expect to do it it's just it, it is it is a little extra anxiety that i've always had and it's i think when it's in when i'm able to work out when it's in check it's like okay it's a drive and when it and when i'm not able to that's when it becomes like <clears throat> uh, difficult but it is it is something i've i've always thought of so that's that's why trying to I don't know. I think that's why when I am not moving forward, I feel like I'm falling behind because I, I know that I've understood compound interest from a very early age. So I know that little adjustments now have huge implications in the future. And that is such a smart way to think. Yeah. So um, you don't think of your, you don't need to think of your 28 year old self. You need to think of your 60 year old self. Mm hmm. Yeah, I mean, really, that that compound interest, the idea of compound interest can pretty much explain every decision that I make. You know, I try to eat healthy food because I know that I want to live. I want to be alive for a long time. I don't just want or no, I want to live for a long time. I don't just want to be alive for a long time. You know, it's the same reason why I'm trying to get into investment now. It's why I'm experimenting with Bitcoin. It's, you know. Have you done? Have you looked yeah. at any and the gold at all? Not really, because so the two main reasons are I think Bitcoin is a more interesting proposition. Um, actually, that just folds into the first one. I think Bitcoin is a more interesting proposition. I know that at a certain point we're going to be able to mine asteroids, which has an abundance of gold and, and other metals, huh? And other rare metals and other rare metals, which going which is going to make them less valuable. less valuable in the long term. So. Go ahead. It's not really about Bitcoin. It's about blockchain. It is about crypto. Yeah, it's about blockchain as, as a concept. Bitcoin is just the main one. It's it's the Kleenex of facial tissues. Well, no, I mean blockchain in the sense that like no intermediaries intermediaries through transactions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's all peer to peer. I think I, th I think blockchain as a concept has the potential to restructure mostly everything even something like and i think we were talking we were talking about this earlier democracy about a, 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 i think it was at the table like a like because it's immutable and it's peer-to-peer -peer, <laughs> there it has the potential to allow true democracy as opposed to a representational republic right did i say that right those are the right I words believe so. but 
I think, I think you guys know what I mean. You know. But I'm, I'm blockchain. Like I'm, I'm honestly, hopefully, really excited to see, like that actually be put into more, more systems around the world. Yeah. Currently is. Yeah. I mean, right now you just had a bunch of investment firms dump billions, or at least millions, maybe billions of dollars into investing in Bitcoin. Mm-hmm. And and yeah. as a result, the the price has gone <laughs> through the fucking roof. Yeah, at at the beginning of the pandemic, the price was three thousand five hundred dollars. Yeah, and now it's twenty four hundred. Twenty four. Okay, lovely people. Time for you to go. Are you I'm finally taking... fucking leaving? Oh my god. Go on, get. Because I can't shut my mouth. Now, actually, <laughs> Ivan hasn't been able to shut her mouth. So, um, we've been busy talking. So anyway, I'm gonna say goodbye. It's yes. always a pleasure to see you, honey. Always. Oh, we'll see you soon. Yes. You, always. <laughs> you, you're, you're there. You're around. I you, deal with you, it. You, yeah. What's your name again? Damn. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don. Douchebag. Yeah, no, I would never. Ah, Don't start to the day. Dickhead. 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 Uh, up. Over Geek. here. Give me a hug. Yeah. I don't want my Michael Kors jacket catching on fire. Oh, Thank you very you much. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Always Thank nice you. to see you, honey. And you. Love you, Donna. Oh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Christmas. Thank you for my knives. I appreciate them. Yeah. Thank you. I do. I I used it to cut the the rose. Nice the dead cow. Uh, yes and no, Riley. Okay. You're very welcome. Oh, my pleasure. You're so wonderful to us. I, I can only say that. Yeah, Jess. I try to be. What? Oh. Oh, you see. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. I know. Oh, this is coming up. Can I pull this up? Does a splinter? Yeah. Okay. I didn't know if it needed to like if you were gonna like pull it, push it back down or no. something. No. I'm gonna replace that board actually. So. Oh, are these all getting replaced? That that one because it, because of that. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I walked over just oh, like. Josh, I am board. proud of you. I really am. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. The the Eli thing is is something that's always been in my head. Like I. If I could have just like everyone that I've talked to about it, you know, you'd see like you know, it, seventeen year old of me. Different. And, and I understand because you know, your mom, it's, it's her child. But women look different. And, and I, just, I told her, like, you know, we have to start thinking of the future, and now is the time, not in fifteen years when we got to do something tomorrow. Yeah. Because he's never, he'll never be able to live on his own. Mm-hmm. He, he won't. He has no critical thinking skills. Yeah, he's really good if you tell him exactly what to do. Yeah, and I mean, you know, he but. can stay home for a few hours by himself, stuff, you know. Yeah, I know. I just wish there was a switch to turn. I know. And, like, when I've... There's been tons of times that I've, like, found stuff on the internet that have been like oh maybe this will help with this I'm like oh yeah there's hope and then like I it's so far out before it can like using um like psychedelics as a way to open up pathways in his brain that have not been opened up maybe but it's not something I'm willing to just try I, you know? I just don't know that science knows exactly what that's why they call it a spectrum every one of them is different and then he's got some he's got other stuff he's too. got mental issues on top of that yeah you know, there's re- reality and yeah I think I really think a large part of that and I don't know how to fix it especially during COVID is he doesn't have a community because I I see a lot of I see a lot of me in him I think we have a lot of similar struggles but because I can <clears throat> articulate them and I have people around that I can talk to he can't he can't because I can do that I'm able to get through them he's he's stuck in this in this world like he'll he'll put on three different he'll put on a tv show a video game three and different music. things yeah. and I don't think it's because he's watching them all I think it's because he's got so much chaos in here that he needs to drown it out he needs to drown it out I agree 100 percent and and my when I was in my early 20s my thought was okay if I can if I can have my own development company, I can find a very like basic task that I can you that I can have him do. That way he has a job, that way he feels like he has purpose. But now, especially with the way my life has been the past couple of years, I see like, oh, when I don't have a community of people, I feel like this, the same way that Eli presents, you know. What's what's weird is I don't know if it's because 
you know, as you get older, well, up to, I think they say, you know, 27 before your mind is totally developed. Uh-huh. But, so, what is it, uh, six years ago now, five, six years ago, when I was doing the grass cutting thing? Mm-hmm. He could not do that now. Believe it or not, he could not do that. Really? No, because if he runs up against any kind of obstacle, mm-hmm. he freezes. He doesn't know what to do. He'll just, he will just—he doesn't know to ask for help. He'll freeze. So when I'll have him help me cut the, gra- cut the grass here, it's totally different than it was six years ago when he was younger. It's like as he's gotten older, certain mental capacities have declined. Well, so wouldn't that be possibly due to the schizophrenic aspect? To the what? The schizophrenic aspect? It could be. I, but it's not just the autism with him. He's got he's got a, he was diagnosed with a which is kind of funny. You're diagnosed with an unspecified <laughs> mental disorder. Well, how are you diagnosed with something that's unspecified? So I I do think he's schizophrenic. And it wasn't until probably maybe two years ago that we didn't actually realize that because he actually was living in two separate worlds. There was this world Mm -hmm. and there was the other world where there was this village in San Francisco. I mean, he was literally thought that stuff was real. Like he had two totally separate realities. Mm-hmm. Two, and it was like a light bulb. We're like, oh wait a minute, something's not right here. Yeah. And it was one of the doctors at Doctor Batra. Yeah, Doctor Batra. Mm-hmm. So we sent him to him, and he was like, oh, there's not yeah. good stuff going on here. I mean, I'm I'm so like I I, don't, I can't think of the term. Um, so, like, after working in ER and now here, like, medical stuff to me is kind of just, like, for example, like, you, like, I don't, I don't want to see, I can't, I, don't, I can't phrase it, I'm, I know if I explain what I'm trying to do, you can be like, oh, yeah, it's this, this but basically, yeah, yeah. okay, I'm just going to do it. So yeah, just go ahead. You go to an ER, can right? You, you see a bunch yeah, of, you. you know, like, bad injuries, people dying. What is, mm-hmm. what, is there, I think it starts with a D. Okay. What's the, water, yes, I can't remember the yeah. term for it. Say it again? Sorry. So, for example, I've seen people die from motorcycle accidents, like limbs cut off, terrible stuff in the ER. Mm-hmm. What is that called when I'm no longer, like... Oh, emotion- desensitized. 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 Yeah. yeah. So, I'm so, I'm so desensitized to, like, st- like people with mental disorders, eating disorders, substance abuse things, and violent traumatic things, because I've seen them all in the ER and now at Fairwinds. So, I mean... And I, I believe that's a mental. What's the word I'm looking for? Defense uh, mechanism. Yeah, mental, oh, 100%, mental, 100%. defensive mechanism, if you will. Hundred mm-hmm. percent. Because it's the first time you see someone's limb cut off, you're like, oh my god! But after a while, war. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're like that's okay, a perfect that's, one. that's what it is. I mean, like for me with that, I know I'm getting off topic, but for me with that, it was kind of like a, I'm I'm in the like my. I guess you kind of call it a coping thing because like the minute you see that your body's like adrenaline is like oh shit but I mean like the fact that now when they're having the the thought's always there like this is the place people come for that we have a team here who's ready to treat that and they're all professionals and that's kind of like for me what got snapped me out of like oh shit mode to like work mode for it but I mean I mean going back to the, the conversation we were in um I, I, I can't imagine how tough it w- is for you you and Lynn and everyone involved actually with, with Eli and especially for me in terms of dealing with schizophrenia because I mean I've, I've seen from a, a different perspective someone like actively can't differentiate between realities and just lashing out at mental health techs but I mean I've, I'm not emotionally involved in that so I, I can't imagine how, how tough it is to, to actually have to one manage to interact with and three try to care for someone with that type I mean, of disorder. I mean, the tough part is there's nothing you can do the helplessness. to yeah. help it. I mean, you, you, you take care of them, but there's, there's, there's not a light switch you can do to, you know, it's not like cancer, let's try chemotherapy. There, uh, yeah. There's not a light switch to do it. And yeah. it's not his fault. 
this it's not his fault. Yeah, and I, I, I remember um, <laughs> I was happening? listening to our doctor there. It's, it's Doctor Aziz for the our facility. He was talking about like when the onset of like most. Of the Hey, Joshua, son. And I mean, hey. like, yeah, like, again, like, I don't, I don't know how you guys do it, but I have tremendous respect for how you guys do it. Well, thank you. You know, and it, it's sometimes it's uh, like the little gifts you get. So when I redid the deck and I all the old deck boards I threw over here, I'm like, originally I was going to take them and throw them in my truck, take them to dump. I'm like, no way, I'm too tired. So I just Googled. You know, jump removal. Found a guy. He called me. Blah, blah blah. Came. I met him out front. <clears throat> he started carrying his stuff. We started talking. He's like, "Yeah, I got my kids in the car. My son is seven. He's got autism." I'm like, "Really?" I said, "I got a son that has autism." And for the next thirty minutes, we're out there talking. And I'm like, for whatever reason, this was a purpose. This happened for a reason. All the stars aligned that. He has an autistic son. I've got an autistic son. We were able to talk. We were able to share experiences. His son was seven. Ours is 24. But it was just... I, I just felt like it happened for whatever reason that I could talk to this guy and we could share different experiences of what we had with our children. And... What's so weird about autism, It's that's why they call it a spectrum. 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 Every, none of them are the same. Everyone is different. Mm -hmm. There's no doubt about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When, when I think about, like, that story specifically, earlier, I forget if it was you or Arnie was talking about how your, your goal as a parent, you said this tons of times too, is to have your, your children do better than you did. Yes. Or to be better off. And... And it's moments like that that I that solidify that we're like one large community because even if Eli has his issues, you're at least able to take those experiences, give them to someone you've never met who has a similar issue, and hope that they are able to use those as a way to help get even like yeah to do better than Eli did, okay. you know. Um, well, That's pretty much all I have. So, Donovan, so, you weren't out here, but... Well, let me ask you, Josh, with that statement. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, go ahead. Yeah, go yeah. ahead. No, go ahead. Okay, so... <clears throat> and I'm not being defensive whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Okay, but do you not think that we've done a good job with Eli? That's not what I'm saying. No, okay. no, no. I'm okay. saying that... I just want to clarify. No, I know. I know. I'm, I'm going to clarify. What, uh, what, I'm, what I'm saying is that there are... As, as we, we talked about earlier before you were out here, parents always make mistakes. You guys made mistakes. I'm going to make mistakes. The hope is that those mistakes that you made, you're able to give the red flags to someone else. That's all I mean by do better. So let's, you know, I can't even think of a concrete example, but let's say there was something that you did for Eli that you thought was going to be the right choice or not to be the wrong choice. You can take that experience, pass it off to this junk removal guy and say, hey, we did this. It didn't work out too well. Not saying it fits for you, but if it does, just keep that in mind. So that's what I mean by doing better. Like there's always better. There's no, there's no perfect. No, yeah. no, there is no perfect and I don't think I'm perfect and I know I've made mistakes. <clears throat> but what I, I will say too is that Eli's experience of being autistic <clears throat> or having autism, whichever you choose to mm -hmm. use, um, was the beginning of the whole phenomenon of, because when Eli was diagnosed, there was like one in 60 had autism. Mm -hmm. Now it's like one in, I don't know, 250, 500, I don't know what it is today because it doesn't matter to me because I don't have a child, a new one with autism. I have a child that is now progressing into adulthood, which brings a whole slew of Honey. different challenges. Mm -hmm. What? What I do wrong? I, I, no, I, I, nothing. Josh and I were talking before he came out here. He already has it in his mind that when we are no longer able to take care of Eli, he will. I honestly thought I had told you that before. That's 
that's been in my head since before I graduated high school. But you know what, Josh? <clears throat> You're living your life, and I am trying to do everything I can to secure things so that he is taken care of. <clears throat> and I know that I know that Eli's autism has affected you. There is no doubt about that. And and I, I'm not dismissing that whatsoever, but I really do appreciate the fact that you're willing to do that. Well, that's yeah. where it will be Josh's choice if we can no longer do it and we found a, for lack of a better word, a home for Eli. No. And Josh says, no. I'm saying that now, no. And, and honestly, honey, that is a huge burden off of my heart. Huge. Yeah. Huge. Yeah, and, and I, I didn't bring that up as a way to say anything about Eli, just as a way to illustrate the progression isn't just through the, the genetic lines, you know. Okay. I'm just you okay. Oh, <laughs> good. Um, all I was trying to say is is that to to kind of to echo the point you were saying about wanting your offspring to do better than you, I think that that goes generally generationally. Right here. Oh, there she is. <laughs> I literally could not see her. I blended. You're drunk. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, no, that that was it. That, I, I was just explaining my point because I'm not, I'm not trying to take it down like a, a heavier path. I I thought that the story you told was really good, and I just wanted to echo that with something you had said. And earlier. Donovan wasn't here, so what I said, Donovan, is I am very proud of both of you guys. I well, know. You're proud of Eli too, but just yeah, in a different but, way. He's just not here right now. Nice. I know it wasn't perfect and made mistakes and blah, 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 but in which, well, you say no, but one day you'll understand. You want your children to succeed more than you have, and you guys are on the right path. What? You want to come kick me in the balls? No, sorry, I wasn't, I wasn't saying to interrupt, but I think he left that fire just like out there. Yeah, he's letting it smolder. Oh, I was like, he did. <laughs> I was like, and Donovan, like, one day you will find a good woman. <laughs> Over sometime soon. Is it in his reflection? Is that what you mean? Yeah. <laughs> I, love Damn, you. Was... I love you. I do love You're you. You're gonna have to clean this up. <laughs> I don't gotta do you anything. Know, he just wants. To, he's getting his fobby out. Well, he's he, he has to I'm let it go. I'm just letting. I'm letting that phase of myself it, that I can never you. live. You know, live in my life. <laughs> Self-discovery. I'm just letting it go. You know, I've yeah. always wanted to do it, so it's going to happen. You gotta hey, do it now when I didn't work can. for six months, I didn't cut my hair or shave, so. <laughs> if you don't <laughs> you have go. to, you know. Mine's going to be like a year or two, and we'll see. You'll get tired of it. By the time the summer comes around, when, I'm more likely to. When you get will. to here, you'll be tired I don't of know it. if I'll ever get to that point. <laughs> Probably not. But, you, never, you know, never say never. Everyone's got a certain limit where we're like, mm, this isn't working. <laughs> Yeah, that homeboy left that unattended. Like he was like, yeah, "My God!" Unattended for a while. Hours. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, "They're out here. They'll <laughs> watch like, it." My neighbors. They, they, they get it. Your daughter was gone. She's good. She's good. <laughs> she got. Well, she got mad that I wasn't petting her. So I I got home and I got on my computer for about four hours. Straight. Yeah. I let her out. She pooped. She peed. And it wasn't time for to eat dinner yet. And she just wanted my attention so bad after I spent my. Like, for a while petting her and playing with her and then yeah. peed on my carpet four times. <laughs> that's a puppy. That's what they do. Yeah. Four times. Yeah. Baby, they're like babies. That's what, literally, puppies are babies. Like, they just stay cute forever. They do stay cute forever, but they have so like a no phase. no carpet in my house. <laughs> You're like, I've learned my, mis I've yeah, learned my lesson. It's, <laughs> it's also a pain to vacuum. Oh, yeah. Uh, like you gotta vacuum it and wipe it down. And it's also a shag puppet. Oh, no. Okay, yeah. Even I better. See. I see why, yeah. I can see the frustration in that. Yeah. Because shag carpet's like a, a maze in itself. Like, once something's in there, it's in there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Two, two months old, though, right? She's two no, months old. No, two months old. Oh, Jeff, you're still, like... Plus, like, you get used to your yeah. environment. Sorry, you know I still haven't told my parents in jail. Really? No, you have. No. No, I don't think he has. Okay, well, my parent, my parents know. No. 
Yeah. How? I don't know, because apparently I, I... Are you fucking with us? No, I'm not fucking with you. Okay, yeah, well, at some point we had the conversation with our parents that you got you came out gay. When was this? I don't know. This is a while ago. Yeah, a year or two ago? This is not longer than that. I never, I never did. Oh, okay, well, I'm sorry if I let that slip up in front no, of somebody. No, dude, I don't fucking care. Oh, okay. Bayer and Leslie just don't know yet, or... Well, I mean, do, I, do they? I don't know. I don't I, know I'm, Well, I'm, if my dad knows, they know. He, do, he knows? Yeah. He so if I bring it up, he'll be like, oh, yeah. Yeah, in case he came out, he's like, hey, did you know Sean Gale? Yeah, I've known that since, like, you know, since the basement said I met you. He said that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah I so, remember. Somebody said something. It wasn't us, though. Like, because Bear was, he mentioned it to us. Yeah, he brought How it up. How long ago was this? This is a while. Like, ago. two or three years ago. Okay. So I'm not sure so who it's, said you know, anything. So it's, it's... So now, uh, how did they know? I don't know. No, they're just, they're guessing, but... Maybe, maybe that's what it is. Maybe, maybe, maybe it may be... showed my hand, sorry if I did. <laughs> no, but maybe... They're, they're just waiting for me to say it, this is going on. Maybe, like, I don't know how. Oh. Up, like, don't, like, why did you, why haven't you told them yet, dude? I could, well, because well, my... Just, it's okay, okay, it's, yeah, it's, I'm sorry, that, that, that's unfair. That's no, dude, bad. no, ask the question again. <laughs> why haven't you told them, There dude? you go. So... <laughs> So, you know, you know, don't be afraid to ask a question to me. No, no, I'm not afraid. No. I'm just like, no, she was, she corrected me. Saying, that's like, not it's like on a, your turn. Like, right. You know, it's like, that's so, on you. Like, you when you decide when you. I'm just, it's just confusing. You I've, know, I've, I've, I, had the same, I've had the same rule the entire time I've gone by. Is when I get involved with someone who I think is going to be like a serious relationship, then I'm going to tell them. And yeah. then following that, when I feel appropriate to meet them, then I will. Yeah. I haven't had a relationship that I felt to be serious. And I've, I've actually I've barely had a relationship to at this point. This place is fucking terrible. Oh, yeah. No. Wait. Newport Richie in Florida is actually I've heard, terrible for I've heard Wait. That. So, wait. Yeah. Well, you're waiting until you're in a relationship? Until well, you find I'm, somebody? I was, I was waiting for a reason to tell them. Yeah. I get Just, what you're saying. Yeah. Are you afraid to tell them? No, my dad kind of, but okay, then I mean, no. Then why wouldn't you just? I mean, well, it's, I mean, I, I'm just trying to understand. That's that's because so it, it is two different realms. So yeah, in, in so, a sense, you know so what I mean. My reasoning, because I ha the reason I haven't told them, because I lived there, and right. I didn't want to deal with the conversations. I get it was, that. That was strictly like the. Yeah. I, I get that with I get that with Aaron. Yeah, hundred uh, percent. Yeah, that was that was strictly. Is Aaron homophobic? No, he's just. It's Aaron. Is he very? <laughs> he's just. He just he just, he just goes. And yeah, he doesn't. He's very he macho does, no, he just I doesn't get. know when to shut the fuck up. Yeah, he, yeah. he doesn't know what not to say, when when to stop talking, and how to how to ask. So he to just doesn't with. know how to stay appropriate throughout the whole. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, like he, he'll he'll try to be pleasant, but it'll turn out disrespectful. He likes gotcha. he, he likes to be the center of attention a lot of times, and that he, he as him trying to keep that, he kind of worked himself into a hole. I've noticed. You know, it's just I've seen <laughs> I've seen like his. Feels and interactions yeah. just kind of go and take a wrong turn because of that. Yeah. That's just my, been my experience. You have a whole other experience because you live with him. <laughs> but I mean, like, yeah, the, the only reason was strictly the annoyance factor. I didn't want to deal with the comment. Okay, so but, I do. I do want to tell you funny stories in a second. Yeah. But yeah, it was strictly the annoyance factor. I didn't want to have the conversations. Like when I knew my okay. mother, like she keep, like she, she knows me obviously. She'd keep it plain and dry. Right. Like she was after the conversation, nothing would really change, and she would kind of keep like. She'd only ask when I'm when she knows I'm willing to tell. Right. But I mean, I don't know. It was yeah. strictly the annoyance factor. But okay, but well, what about now? I mean, you're not living there, so what's the? Uh, I've what's... Always, I'm still kind of going on that rule. What rule? You, since you're not. Yeah, now. you're not really in the loop in, in terms of like me okay. and them and everything. Okay. Does Don know I'm gay? I don't know. He I thought it up to us. Saying that he brought it up. And I, yeah, he. I do remember. You were that. you there? So you were there. Yeah. So okay. I'm not imagining. Did he say how he who's who told how he how I'm he knew? I'm pretty sure it was Aaron and Leslie. What? But I yeah. Never, no, I he did say so he like said. he mentioned it. Like he said some. I don't. Remember I don't know. Because like I I wanted like I'm okay with them guessing. Like I don't really give a shit. I'll yeah. Talk, I'm I'm pretty much ready to say something. Anyway. I just haven't actually said it. So I'm curious if who said what based on what. Yeah. I'm so trying I know to, we didn't say, we, none of us said anything. Yeah, up which until is now, like why I, we thought, were confused I thought they knew. Yeah. Because yeah. I don't know how. I don't remember, because I do remember Don saying something about it. Because he was like, did, did you know? I'm like, yeah. I, don't, I don't know. I, I, I mean, I just, yeah, I, mean, I was just, yeah. I was like, oh, I mean, at that <laughs> I was like, oh, he finally came out, told him. Because also, knowing Lynn, she, oh like, when God. she asked me about relationships, uh -huh. she still says she, her, Shit, shit like that. I, I, w I would guess that she is being respectful, like, 
trying to say like, oh, I know. But no one slipped up because like people slip up in conversations all the time. They'll say something they didn't mean to say, but I accidentally trip over words. Not always. You're. Well, I mean, people. It's not impossible people, for them not, not to not slip up. When I'm drinking, saying. the chance increases. But it's not impossible. So, I mean, yeah, but they drink a lot. This is true. So, I mean, <laughs> they're used to it. <laughs> the fact that my parents haven't, that Don and Lynn had it, and they know, is kind of like. I feel it's like because I like when Lynn comes over and I talk to Lynn, like we hit like compounding subjects and keep going. Mm-hmm. And re- relationships do sometimes come up, but the fact that no one's ever like even broached the subject kind of is interesting. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I haven't gone there before, so I, I couldn't tell you, but it's worth checking out. Donovan, I thought you were in charge of the fire. I am. It's still burning. It looks pretty freaking slacking to me. Ugh. Well, we got that second fire way over there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I need more water. That's been going on for a while. <laughs> Here comes the smolder. Remember when Molly used to sit out of the fire? She loved chilling in her knees. And Colton burned, burned his tail on yeah, it. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Jess, Jess was like, I heard the sizzle. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. Oh, it's nice. Who has to work tomorrow? Not me. Ah, it's the cat. Do you work tomorrow, Sean? No? I'm off to Monday. Sweet deal. All right. Good for you. Not me. So, Sean, I just want to... I made that for you <clears throat> because you bought a house this year. And I thought it would be a great conversation piece if you hang it wherever you choose to hang it. <clears throat> and people will go, well, it's that. And you can say, that is the longitude and latitude in which you're standing right now, because it's my house. <laughs> <laughs> and I made one for for um, Donovan and Josh. Mm-hmm. Everybody got one. That's awesome. So, you know, that little space you have in your kitchen against the wall, like when you come yeah. in from the garage right there... <laughs> Um, that's a good place for it. Well, I well, think, not that, I but think no, that's wider than the wall. I think uh, that's not with wider the, than um, the, the saw thing that Leslie got, for, your, your mom got for Aaron, mm-hmm. I'm like, because he's going to be dying to build something. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, he needs to build you a little. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got I, I got plans for stuff he can use to build. There you go. <laughs> I got plans. If he really wants to build stuff, I need a deadbolt on my tech room door. There you oh, go. Why do you need a deadbolt? Uh, so my mom brought up a good point when I was when I was first talking when we first like just closed on the house, like it could be one a safe room and two my most expensive stuff in the house is in that room. Okay, that's and so you need a gun. Like, <clears throat> yeah, I'm getting that too. What are you getting? Probably an FM five hundred nine. But um, but yeah, because that way if the deadbolt's on the inside, it manual locks the inside. So if and something happens, can I can go in there. I can unlock it through my phone if I close the door on the outside. Right. But I mean, so it's safe room and also it's. Where the most expensive things in the house are. Right. Okay. That's a good that was, idea. That was the original concept of it, but I mean, the lock is $109, so I don't know. Well, I, don't know, I feel like it would be worth it to me. It would be worth it to me. Honestly, yeah. yeah. Like, Did you get some Amazon gift cards for Christmas? I used half of them. Well, you just got another one. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to add to the balance today. <laughs> oh, okay. No, but you have, like, one room where all your tech stuff is at? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, my, my safe is in there. Uh, my two computers are in there. Um, so, like, all my bills and stuff are in there, too, and they're in the safe. So, I mean, like, everything that is important, right. like, legal document-wise or, like, that's not furniture, that's invaluable, is in right. that room. Okay. Well, no, and honestly, <clears throat> looking at your house, that is the most financially and security issue in -hmm. terms of what's on the computers you want to you want to safeguard that Mm -hmm. yeah for sure if i lose what's on those computers i lose like you lose a lot i I lose everything you've you've done a lot of work and it's all there and you don't want to lose it Mm -hmm. and i know you have it back up not yet. Sean Drobish. Not yet. Because <laughs> oh. when you said that, I was like, oh shit, if something happens. <laughs> you <laughs> because, need a backup. Because all, all my company contracts are on there. Oh, I know. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, my articles of, like, like everything is on there. I know. I've read a lot of them. Yeah. You need a backup. Okay, that's your next thing to buy. Yeah. <clears throat> backup. I'll just buy a server. 
<laughs> you gotta have to start making a list, like. <laughs> I mean, granted, like the game itself is secure on the server. I don't own. Right, right. So that's safe, but in terms of company documents, right, you need a backup. Yeah, you I mean, need I... to get yourself a second thing because if your systems go down or are fried or whatever, and you might also want to get a surge protector in the house. <clears throat> so that it doesn't fry your computers. Well, I have a um, a surge protector in there too. Oh, you do. Okay. I'm gonna get a battery backup as well soon. Yeah. I should have bought a battery backup with my gift cards. Shoot. Well, you have another one. It's like it's like two hundred dollars. Okay. Well, it's, <laughs> it's okay. It's it, something it, off the two hundred dollars. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But it's a little <laughs> bit towards your backup. Yeah. Could you use the iCloud as like a backup technically? No. For no. 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 It's too much information. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Oh, I the didn't data know that much. is. Oh, the yeah. data okay. is. Huge. Because <laughs> I know iCloud definitely helps, but I didn't know it was like that much data. Oh yeah. my gosh, no. If it's you like look at his, if, if, if you oh look God. at it, yeah. I don't know the gigabytes, but if you just look at what it is, yeah, it's, there's a lot of shit there. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, if it's like that it's much, not. definitely. You like, need backup. Backup, son. Yeah. Backup. Definitely get the surge protector because, like, when my family and I lived in Tennessee, we had like a really bad tornado, like, hit, hit us or near us, and like, it just killed our computer. Did it really? Yeah. And like, we. It took years for us to like try to get that thing fixed and it never was back to and you lost yeah we lost all whatever my dad had on that computer because that was like in 2004 and like when you're still we were still learning like you know the right. basics of it but there were still important documents on that computer right that now like we can never get back right so like it definitely opened our eyes as into like you have to how protect. important that is yeah yeah <clears throat> we have we have a backup <clears throat> we don't back it up a lot, but we back it up, I would say every six months, we do some type of backup. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and it's like, okay, just pictures. Yeah. Oh, that's priceless. Like, you. Exactly. The memories, like, because we're humans, we forget, like, we can forget important moments. Like, it's just human, what, the human way. Yeah. But having those pictures is something that you could always look back on. And in the past, mm -hmm. we would always print them out. Photo albums, yeah. My mom still has the ones oh, from the 90s. <laughs> I have plenty. As a matter of fact, tomorrow, I don't have a lot of Donovan. Don had a couple albums that his sister made mm -hmm. after he got divorced mm -hmm. <clears throat> of all the pictures she had. Gotcha. So you guys can look at that. But oh. I would love for Jess to see what I have. Yeah, no, that would be awesome. And and I know I, I am not a hoarder. <laughs> but uh, 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 Sorry. I'm clearing my chest. <laughs> uh, 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 sorry. I was clearing my chest. Uh, 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 uh. Are you done? Yeah. Uh, I was thinking about that A A E uh series hoarders. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Okay. Okay, you can walk through my house without any issues. But I, I Sorry. <laughs> so you think I'm a hoarder? What? <laughs> what? I couldn't hear you. I'm deaf. You think I'm a hoarder? <laughs> huh? I'm not a hoarder. What? I just don't throw everything away. And, and you should be grateful I don't throw everything away. Because once it's gone, it's gone. That's the bug. See, the thing is, okay, I have a lot of things from the kids when they were little. Mm -hmm. And they're all sentimental. And I know that's part of a hoarder's thought process, right? <laughs> <clears throat> I do understand that. But... As life unfolds, at this point, <clears throat> those things are going to be enjoyed by our kids. Who got to go? What the fuck? This I got to clean all this shit out. She was a hoarder. Well, I am afraid of that. <laughs> <clears throat> but. You will all, if, if it comes to the point that I'm dead and you guys are coming into this house and cleaning everything out, what will, you will find is things that I've kept because they have sentimental value 
and my hope that my children's children <clears throat> will be able to enjoy it in the arena of the fact that this was mine when I was little mm -hmm. and my mom kept it this long so that you could enjoy it. Like the marble run that's in there? Yeah. <clears throat> okay, I probably bought that in 96. <clears throat> that's a long, yeah, that's like... That's but, long. but, but since over the years, yeah. okay, do you know how much enjoyment that toy brought mm -hmm. to Evan and Maddie and Noah when they would come over here? I had a plethora of toys for children to come and just play. Mm -hmm. And the the idea of getting rid of them now is ridiculous. Yeah. I've kept them this long. Somebody is going to use them. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> On the flip side, I just want to, because I don't agree with Leslie's philosophy. Mm -hmm. I mean, she is like a minimalist. Yeah. Okay. So she threw away all this shit that she had of Sean's. Oh. And over the years that I've known her, since she had Evan, mm -hmm. she's like, oh man, I should have kept that. Evan could have used it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's not a justification. I'm just saying. <clears throat> For circumstances. I, where, you know, yeah. honestly, I, I'm not a hoarder. <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking of something funny. <laughs> Not up. that. Something else. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, this is what I'm going to say. I am a hoarder. <laughs> I am a hoarder of sentimental... Everything. No, no. Because if I was a hoarder of everything, our house would be filled from top to bottom of boxes and all this other shit. Yeah. <clears throat> I have things that meant something to me when my children were small mm -hmm. and the things that didn't mean anything I got rid of yeah. I kept the things that for whatever reason and, and I know this is a fucking definition of order okay <laughs> I do know that but I am a conservative yeah. order yeah no but there's like I understand like there is a difference because like affording like most hoarders they try to attach sentimental mental value to everything. Everything. And that's right, like it, right, it right, could right. be like a napkin, it right, could be right, right, anything. Right, right. Good point. Thank yeah. you so much, Andrew. I get what you're saying. <laughs> my mom's the same way though. Like we still have the VHS tapes of like all the Disney Oh, movies. I have all those. We don't even own a VHS anymore. What is VHS? <laughs> what <laughs> the I get it. Vehicle home system? system? <laughs> vehicle home system? <laughs> vehicle home system? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so speaking of that, we were talking about hoarding because everybody thinks I'm a hoarder. You're hoarding? the closest. You're the, clo you're, the <laughs> you're the closest thing in the I, family to a I hoarder. I keep trying, yeah. but I'm not making any money. <laughs> yeah, well, be prettier. Okay, oh. so Joshua, that all it takes? I don't yeah. know if you noticed <laughs> uh -huh. on the Christmas tree, but your your little balls and, and <laughs> ornaments mm -hmm. are not on there. Okay. You know why? Because they're in storage. No. You threw them away. No. Because they broke. Because it's time for you to take them. Oh, okay. And all of your ornaments that I bought for you. Yes. Over the years. Yes. Mm -hmm. Close. And one of them was a Santa Pez. That's why I got that from Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> I have it in a box. And that's why I asked you if you flew yeah, southwest. It's up to you. Because you we can put all of your Christmas stuff. <clears throat> it's time for you to take your Christmas ornaments. Okay. And I have Thanks. them all <laughs> in a tote. And we, we might not be able to use the tote, but... I'm going to bed, boys. I have to get up at 5 in the morning oh, to go to work. No, that's you right. two don't have to do that, but I do. <laughs> yeah. Don't give me that bullshit. I have to do that every other day of the week. Do you have to tomorrow? <laughs> do you have to wake up at 2 o'clock on your no, days no, off? No, we're talking about tomorrow. No, I don't. Okay, there's so no need to I argue. Do. He's just saying goodnight. I'm saying goodnight. Yeah. But it's a competition. No. I you will, I I will win. It's a competition. I will win. <laughs> but I make more money. Do you, though? Yeah. Yeah, well, you've got 30 years of... Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm creeping up on you, and I'm like I know. I mean, half your age. I, make, I own two houses. So do I. So does he. <laughs> I own two cars too. They definitely. Yeah. And so two motorcycles. 
Uh, I already got one more. To say. <laughs> I, I got beat. <laughs> I have two sons. All right, well. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> top that one. No, honey, you have three sons. Yeah, I have three sons. Top that one. With two outside. Right? Two outside. Exactly. Top that one. I don't got anything for that one. There you go. <laughs> okay. Love you guys. Love you, too. Love you too. And I'm very proud of you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I am. I mean that. Aww. We appreciate you it. You guys are awesome. You really are. Thank you. Thank you. And... I know I'm not the best, but I love you guys. Love you too. Yeah, you're pretty neat. <laughs> I'm pretty neat. You're pretty neat. Oh, you're pretty neat. That's pretty neat. neat. How neat is that? Neat Just up. make sure you let you know your um your passengers know that you're up until thank you, Don. Thank nine o'clock yeah. drinking. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was drinking and smoking all night. Oh Maybe my lord! Home by two ish or tomorrow if you're here still here. We'll still be here. Yeah, we're not going until the 27th. I won't be. So. I'll Fuck see you, you next man. year. <laughs> you dirty trash, you man. I'll see you next time. You white trash, slave holding, whatever you, you are. Rent seeker. <laughs> you rent seeker. Landlord. Where's, is that cold? No, that's your foot. Yes, yeah, I got excited. I thought, I, was, I thought it was my dog. No, your dog was still So not tonight. <laughs> oh, they both go to bed? Probably. They will be back here. Oh, so okay. Here. So maybe tonight. But how do you do that? I think um, I think this we might. This is like the most anxious I've been to tonight. know an answer in a long time. <laughs> yeah. You're just like, how did like, they I, know? I really want to know how. Yeah, because like they mentioned it to all of us, and we're just like. Okay. Yeah, they they brought uh, it up. The yeah, they brought it up, and I'm still like, how? <sighs> Almost like you said, like. Like I, I said, I think he's. He, I think he was just fishing. You think he was fishing? Could yeah. they could they have seen you? No. At any point? No, no. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no there's no fucking way <laughs> wait a minute <laughs> yes because uh, yeah. i'll say the way that um me like my in sophomore year of college fucking my friend man. group there was one one guy who who was gay and we just didn't know we only found out because at a party he like went off and as we were leaving we saw him making out with the dude in the front yard like oh no they, cool. they're, they're still nothing like that oh okay they have to fucking fuck Aaron. Oh, okay, here we go. What's going on? Whoa, whoa, whoa hold on. You're fucking Aaron. No. <gasps> Your mom's gonna be so mad. No, 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 no. What are you doing, stepdad? Oh, my God. Here we go. I've been saying that all day, actually. No. She's been saying that about everything. I've been doing the every object, but I'm like, what are you doing, step car? <laughs> my, my favorite is like, oh, what are you doing, step ladder? <laughs> she no, does I the know, same thing. What is it? Um, so, uh, when I worked night shift, this is like two years ago. I went. On, I got off work in the morning, mm-hmm. and I always got Chick Fil A. The person I was dating at the time met me at Chick Fil A, and we ate inside. As we were both walking out, Aaron fucking pulls up. Yeah, but that could be easily explained yeah. as like, hey, no, I'm hanging out with my buddy. Were you holding, were you holding hands? hands? No. You making out? No. But like, it was. Did you have? It was, were you holding his pocket? No. It was elephant walk. It Sorry. Was, <laughs> it, what? Who would I meet after work? On a night shift, twelve-hour night shift, what a friend. to go get food with at seven a.m. I would say somebody important, like definitely someone important. Yeah, yeah. if they didn't already work yeah, at Chick Fil A. Yeah, yeah, somebody important. And I, I still remember like the look on his face, kind of like really confused, like what? Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. So that's. Well, why can't it just be like? Yeah, but like he. Aaron and Leslie grew up with Sean. And no, I'm just we saying. We all know how, like. There's a lot of situations. What if you, like, you just. You're okay, you went to Chick fil A after your morning or your night shift or whatever, like that, and you just ran into a friend and you guys yeah. ended up. Who dined inside when I was. Yeah, I mean, it's not impossible. Had to be somebody important. Yeah, it's possible, but. but- it makes sense because, like like Andrew said, it's going to be someone important, mm-hmm. and if it's someone they didn't already know about, mm-hmm. like we're gonna in be their like, yeah, we're gonna yeah, be like, it's like Whoa. oh, so this is an important person. Yeah, why? Yeah, yeah. Like, and and like being yeah, your parents. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and being your parents, know. they they already have. They probably have their own like. Intuition. Is he maybe? You know. Yeah, it's like an intuition. Oh, they straight you know? up asked my best friend a while ago. Oh really? Yeah, and he's like, no, why? Why would they not just ask you? Like, that's, what we're, we're, that's, really what we're, like, that's what we're trying to figure out. Like, it's the, like, you it's know. the same sense. Sorry, go ahead. No, 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 you're good, Go ahead. That's the same sense as the way Donovan was acting before Josh came out. When, he, when you asked a question, you backed off, like, you never oh, yeah. anything. That's, I think, was it was stopping them. The whole, like, they want to ask, but they don't know if it's disrespectful to yeah. ask or appropriate. I so gotcha. I think they're kind of like, well, I'm just not going to. Oh, okay. And they're probably worried like, about repercussions, too, in a sense, with you. Like, they don't want to make you mad, you know, in a sense. Like, they don't want you. Mm-hmm. Because you, like you saw Aaron, like he's very, 
He's not good at talking. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, not about that kind of and stuff. And he's probably, either. they're probably worried. He's good at small talk. Knowing, yeah, knowing yeah. Leslie and Aaron, like, knowing how she is with him, it's like, in their whole yeah, conversation, nice like, she's yeah. probably going to be worried about him saying something over the line. Yeah. Because she's going to be, I feel like she, she'll be okay. Oh, well, my mom be yeah. fine. It's going to, Aaron's like, I feel like he's just going to keep on going and then he's going to make Leslie Talking. mad. Like, I can, too, I can hear what Aaron's going to say. Yeah. you would be like, oh, man, that, that's okay, man. I mean, like, it's, it, like, I, I never said I, it my, my, my uncle's game. Yeah. And I, like, yeah. Just, yeah. Just, the goddess. Yeah. Nervous talking. Yeah. Yeah. It snowballs into like something bigger. And yeah. you're just like. It's very accurate. And then he'll, then he'll try to stop that conversation and be like, so who are you saying? I'm like, no, no, no. no, no. Yeah. We're not, We're not there yet. It's just, it's a lot to break through. Especially, it, and it's like for your parents, like too, like, you know, it's, that's a, a tough wall to. So I have a question. Yeah. So. Uh, which penis opens up to receive the oh other penis? Oh my god, Donald. <laughs> Is it always the same one, or do you trade off? <laughs> What's grape binding? No, no. <laughs> grape binding? Actually like this? Like that. No, wasn't that, wasn't oh, that one of those quote, the, the quotes office. from The Office? Like, it, I'm like pretty sure they said that at that episode. <laughs> maybe. Or maybe I'm thinking of something else. Or maybe I have my own question. No, he's like, what is, what is red binding? Red binding, that's what it was. Oh, <laughs> grape binding. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. <laughs> I don't know either. It's like, it's like, when... When does the other penis know to accept it? <laughs> I was just like, oh my god. What a, what a show. They couldn't well, get see. it. What you see. <laughs> just, I know, it's, but I see the apprehension mm -hmm. as to why they don't want to ask, because I feel like Leslie knows. I feel like Aaron would have a fucking heart attack if he had to ask. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, could you imagine him like, coming up like, just bring me so hey man, um, he'd come back and forth. <laughs> yeah. and I still see you the other day, and uh, yeah. you know, these instances. And, do you want to join a chorus? There's beer in the, in the cooler. Yeah. <laughs> so the same way every time I say something, he doesn't want to. Rocky Blues. Hey, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. hey, man. He's like, oh, how's it going? <laughs> like, classic, like, I don't want to talk. Yeah. I'm super nervous, but I have to. Yeah. No, it's like, I know your mom will definitely be fine. It's it's Aaron, for sure. Like, I mean, Aaron will be fine. He just won't no. know how to handle it initially. But I, feel, yeah. I feel like that's what Leslie's worried about, too. Oh, yeah. Like, that's probably, like, they've probably had this conversation. And she's probably honestly worried about what he will say versus... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, he's also, he's also, like, he doesn't say it because he knows that I'm going to contest it if he goes on the topic, but he's also, he's very religious, kind of. Yeah. Is he? Mm -hmm. he's, he's pretty religious. Oh. Like, for example, today, this morning, when I went over there, he, the, he, the cross he got from his dad, he gave to Evan. So it's obviously something he's passionate about, he loves, he's, he's been to church, he doesn't like any of those conversations with, regarding me in it, because he knows I'm going to try to contest ideas yeah. in order to yeah, yeah. probe and get knowledge by what. But I mean... Where's the... But Fuck. I mean, like, yeah, it's, uh, yeah. Well, it's, like, yeah, hard, like, I understand, like, cause, I like, where I, like, when I grew up in Tennessee, like, it's very hard for people to, like, they've been basically indoctrina indoctrinated into that lifestyle, thinking, you know, we have to go to church every Sunday and Wednesday, like, it's a sin to contradict, like, the Bible, it's, like, it's basically, like, in Tennessee and then, like, other religious states, it's, like, it's a contradiction to the their wood? lifestyle, uh, well, which is very down. hard to look at for them. Like, they don't want to admit to themselves that there could possibly be more out there, and they just didn't see it. Because, like, a lot of people, when I was growing up, they bring their kids to the church. No questions asked. Even, and it's like, it's really hard for people to look into themselves and try to see another path. Or to have, a, view. Or to have yeah. their beliefs that they've yeah. believed in. And that's what I'm saying. Like, it's, it's hard to question, like, when you grow up in that environment, it's really hard to question it. Especially when you have a group of people that also believe in that same belief system mm -hmm. and no one questions it. The, the toughest, the tough part is going to be, I, I actually, I totally forgot what I was going to say. The hardest part Words? of, like... No. Yeah, I, I mean, I started it and then you just, like, just, just poof. <laughs> but, um, What's your excuse? Oh, no, the, um, the one thing that I, I do find tough still... Like if if I were to meet someone, is bringing them to meet family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, like it's, it's for sure it's tough. Like it's for tough. example, like my best friend, I'd have no problem with. Like you guys probably no problem with. Mm -hmm. But the minute or the generation above us, so to speak, like our parents, mm -hmm. type of thing, like as soon as that gets involved, then it's like, because I know the history of it, I know kind of it's never really been brought into light until kind of moderately recently. Yeah. And there's always a negative connotation around it. Mm -hmm. It's really hard to change people's thinking and yeah. not see through like people but like Don and Lynn, my my mother and Aaron, very transparent expressions. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. So I mean like it's it's easy to read that and I don't want to have to have like the internal like 
fuck. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is I like. But no one's gonna say, say it, yeah. but someone needs to. You're gonna feel it. it. Yeah. Oh, it's hard too, like, because when you bring somebody to your parents for the first time, you're like saying, This is who I like. Like, this is, I yeah. want you to like. Like, everyone doesn't say that they want their parents to like their significant other, but it's very important. Like, and I feel like it's like inherent in a way. Like, you want your parents to like. You want your parents' choose. approval? Not even that. Like, you just want your parents to like. <laughs> approval. Look at your, not just approval, but like, look at your choices. Like, who you bring to the table. Like, to the, com- like, not the table. Like who you bring into the family. Is that what I am? Your table. Hold on. I'm just an asset, sorry. Let her, let her talk. I, I think I get what you're saying. Yeah, like you want, but it's not approval per se. It's more you're like, this is the person I choose to, like, I want to bring into the family. Like, kind of like, please, like, accept this is who I am. Like, I, you want that person, like, to be brought into the fold. Can I expand on that? Yeah, yeah, yeah of, okay. course, of course. So the the way that I see it is when you when you like someone and you really resonate with them, it's because there's a part of you that is a part of them exactly. and vice versa. Yeah. So by bringing them, you're saying, hey, this is a part of me that you've not seen. Mm-hmm. If you don't like it, that is going to hurt because you're exactly. saying you don't like me. Yeah. It's like you're rejecting, like they're rejecting your own self. Like it's a part yeah. of your personality basically that they're rejecting at that point. Mm-hmm. It's like how I felt when I was a teenager, like, whenever I started dating, you know, it's like, your parents are like, no, I don't want this. And that kind of felt like, in a sense, like, oh, they just, they don't want this, they don't want me, kind Mm -hmm. of sense. And that kind of feels like its own rejection. Yeah. But I mean, even if, like, taking all that, even the act of, like, bringing someone around with the the knowledge that, like, they, they know this is who I like, and this is, like, part of me. Yeah. That like even that is kind of like oh, because I, I know it's not going to be received the way it, I'd like it to be received. Regardless. Yes. Well, and plus it's important to you. Like, and yeah. plus it's going to be very good. know it's a big deal to you at the same time. Yeah. Like it's a big deal, like to bring somebody that you like to like a family event. Mm-hmm. And I definitely get the um, being scared about it. Like, because I was scared when I brought him. Over for the first I don't know time. Why. <laughs> everyone loves me. Yeah, no, no, because <laughs> I, I knew like, like, like earlier when we were talking about like subconscious situations, like in our decision making, like my Your past. Mom white no, <laughs> listening, not that. Like, not saying she doesn't like white people, but based on my past relationships throughout high school, and like yeah, what happened, no. and like the trauma I had to deal with, because I did a lot of you know dating, I didn't feel like I had any control as a teenager and I value control in my life and like the way I did it is I self-harmed and that's you know it leads to a certain point where you're like oh so you're rejecting this person and then I got scared I was like if am I gonna fall into that same pattern again if I bring you home and am I gonna get rejected again by my family and it hurts and that's the whole that's another part to be scared like I get it like and I get, like, you want to make sure that person, not that they're not right for you, but you want to make sure, I'm trying to, I'm losing my train of thought here. You want to make sure they establish a connection, but you don't want to lose that connection with that person, in a sense. You want your family to be caused yeah. the, the, the cause of the loss. Yeah, that's exactly it, mm-hmm. like, because it hurts. And it definitely, people say it doesn't cause strains in relationships, but if a family member doesn't like your significant other, it definitely causes strain. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and I've seen it before, and like... Tell me about it, they didn't like you, so I had to deal with that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they liked me. I'm fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm doubting everything. I'm sorry, <laughs> But it's definitely, like, self-reflection of your parents, like, seeing how they interact, I get it. Yeah. It's a scary situation, because everyone has their faults. And you're our parents, and we love them, but you can see. Here, I know where more wood is. The fault. Mm-hmm. There's, There's more wood here. Oh, right in the corner there. Yeah. I'm not gonna use that to just get it started. It's scary. I get it. And you know, like that's when you're ready, you're ready. You know, like you know, when you're ready for it. Like you got us. Like we, we love you, and we'll like whoever you bring. And unless support- he sucks. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, unless like, Josh, <laughs> He's a piece like, of shit, I'm not gonna like him. <laughs> but like you know, like we'll support like. We support you. Like, that's all I'm trying to say. It's like, we, we're we always here for you. And... Take it to the fire, okay? Yeah, you have a knife. If you know... Oh, wait, this is right here. The time is right. Mm-hmm. And whether your parents see that or not, that's on them. 
you know? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't doubt they'll be yeah. okay with whatever, but... I think it's, I think it's the, the knowledge that there's going to be turbulence. Yeah. yeah. Not that it, you won't make it through. <laughs> the way you're talking, it sounds like you know you'll make it through, but yeah. there will be turbulence and turbulence. Is you don't want to deal with the uncomfortableness yeah, of it. It's, yeah, it's just never, that's, That was it's shitty. Never fun. Hey, yeah. listen, I'm trying my best. <laughs> Try better. No, like no one strives to be uncomfortable, so. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's the part that's yeah. Yeah, No one that's, likes that's, it. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's yeah. yeah. Cause you know it's coming. Like that's the thing. Like you know it will happen. But I, oh, hello, sir. <laughs> no, it's definitely. It's I see the apprehension and I understand it. Cause like that's with every relationship. I feel like when it, ever, whenever somebody brings somebody new, there's always that apprehension. Like I, I really thought it'd all be over with by now. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I, at first I thought I was going to be like, by the time I'm like 18, 20, like, this is finally I'll just be done with this, I want to fucking know. Mm-hmm. I would have hopefully go. had a relationship, either where I succeeded or failed, they would have found out something. Hasn't happened yet, so, I don't know. Yeah. I think that that kind of goes with what they were, the older guys, Don and, and Arnie were talking about, how you think differently at different ages, mm-hmm. you know? Like, I don't know what when you found out for yourself, but how old were you? 13, 14? Yeah, so like, so you're thinking, oh, me. in five years. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I, no, I, I, can, I can tell you exactly who made me find that out. Oh, wait. <laughs> okay, let me finish. So, you you think in five years it's all going to be sorted out, and then when you get older, like, oh, time is a lot longer than I thought yeah. it was. Yeah. So, but I, now I'm curious when, like, how you knew. How you knew. So it was the, basically the first day of high school. Mm-hmm. It was so well, not technically the first day, but prior to that, it was basically band camp stuff. Where Sorry. it was a saxophone section, and there was one guy who I still think is like unbelievable. And that's like when I knew. Yeah. When I yeah. knew, I knew. Is that why you were so into saxophone? Oh no, you just played that. <laughs> no, I'm, just playing I'm just curious. Like. Siri, play Careless Whispers by George Michael. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that's when it was like. Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. like, this, yeah, this is not, like, just one of your friends or someone or being Yeah, it's not a phase, here. yeah. Are you pretty? Did y'all take anything? Mm-hmm. No, not yet. We're not going to. Really? That conversation's going to go on forever. Because <laughs> neither of them ever stopped talking. Who? <laughs> My mom and Jess. Just. Oh, yeah, no, I get you. <laughs> they love to talk. No. We'll do it tomorrow. Oh, man. I mean, you don't have to, but... No, Lynn definitely is a good conversationalist. Like, she is. Yeah. I definitely, like, she's giving me some good life advice. Like, she just, you gotta get her out of the, uh... The loops. Yeah. Yeah, no, I get it. It's okay. also kind of part one. Has to ask her <laughs> Oh, yeah, because once Cause you get dragged in... If I ask her, then it's gonna be, like... Just, It'll be, like, a two-hour long so conversation. So we started here, but we're gonna go, like, mm-hmm. all-encompassing on that yeah. one time. It's gonna get deep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'm pretty good at keeping her on track. Yeah. Like... We've, we've grown to she's, Yeah, she's, she's definitely become more aware of it, too. Yeah. Look at all the icing, Andrea. Mmm. <laughs> Scoop it with a cookie. Yeah. <laughs> I never realized baiting would be that hard. Oh, it's hard. Well. <laughs> like, yeah. Hard. Dude, it's hard as a straight person. I can only imagine when What's it's it like, like your now? population like, is smaller. and everything like that. Okay. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's what my brother... That's what your face but, is. It's not good. Like, honestly... It's hard. So, from... I, I had more relationships when I was like 18 to 20 than I have 20 to now. So it's very it's only one more year. We'll take almost two more years. Mm-hmm. But I mean, like, when I was 18, I I dated one guy who actually was. I, I'm trying to find a way to phrase this correctly because I was going to sound like what? But basically, was a film star in a sense. Oh, okay. okay. But not. And find it more of just like Was it like a hobby? No, it wasn't it wasn't them having sex with the people is what I'm trying to get. Oh okay. it was kind of just like them. And I didn't know Oh, like like a Cameron. an OnlyFans would be. Yeah, t- okay. type, type of thing. Okay. And I had no idea of any of that. And one of I I was talking to one of my friends and I sent them like just a general picture of them. And she was like, Did you did you know that you know, this like, is not. All you have to do is open like Tumblr or something. And, and he's there. Okay. And I'm like, no. Tumblr. Yeah, that was since that's when it was then. Yeah. But, um, 
<laughs> yeah, I didn't know that, so I went on a date with him and afterwards I I looked up like, oh. Yeah. But yeah, so then there was that one where there was two other people I dated short term. But yeah, I mean dating is really fucking tough in Sarah. One. Oh yeah. And then yeah. two, like it's like I've come to the conclusion that gays don't date anymore. Like it's very rare. Like There's I, definitely some of that. Yeah, like I haven't like I haven't seen like any really gay couples out and about as much huh? as I have even a while. Come on, St. Pete. I I have. <laughs> no, like he's right though, because like my boss and my pharmacist, he was gay, and look what happened now. Like they're in a throuple like, oh, situation. Like have, it's more like we know that story. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah, no um, olive oil, olive oil. Yeah, but like no, you're right. Like it's very hard. Like in the gay community, I feel like because. I had like another gay friend, and he was like, "Yeah, like you know, it's you, you, you just do your thing, and then if there's no commitment, there's no strings mm-hmm. attached, and no like guy wants to take if they hear the word commitment, it's scary, in the sense like that's and they run away." Yeah, I can say my uh, one of the guys in my D and D group, um, <laughs> I've been playing with him for like two and a half years now, mm-hmm. and um, he's gay and he has a husband. But I just found out recently that they have an open relationship. So, like, they were the, the only ones that I knew where it's like, okay, you two are together. Like, cool, I, I understand that. And then he's like, oh, yeah, no, we're just, uh, I'm seeing this other guy. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. But it's like, even when you get to that, it's it's so hard. So if yeah. you don't want, or if you do want that, it's like an even smaller yeah. pool Cause, I mean, to pull from. You're talking about 8% of, like, all society, the narrowing that down the males and females, narrowing that down who's compatible, who's in the area. Like, it's, it just becomes... In a contestantly small number, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and like there's really like, I feel like I feel like I exhausted the options in this area two years ago. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like there's, I feel like there's just no. Well, like, I you... have a lot of my friends say the same thing. Like and like, they say they're like, yeah, like Tinder, Bumble, even that. Like, it's hard to find somebody who's willing to compromise mm-hmm. and commit to that level right away. Mm-hmm. Like every like a lot of people our age just want to like have flings. Mm-hmm. And even later in life, too, now, it's, like, people that are older want just flings. And when you're looking yeah. for something serious and you say that, it either drives people away or people will lie to get what they want out of you till, oh, yeah. till then. Yeah. That's well, I think are. you're also seeing a big shift from traditional long-term relationships and marriage to well, what you're seeing now. Oh, yeah, but I also see a lot of girls and guys complaining about how men ain't shit and women ain't shit. Well, that's... Yeah. And they're like, I just want to be married and be in a cute relationship. I feel like... But their people, actions are speaking differently. Yeah, and I feel like a lot of people don't realize you have to put into work, and then when it gets hard, people don't want yeah. to make that work. Once they see it, that being in a relationship is isn't a game. all fucking. Yeah, it's, it's not, not Instagram. Yeah, it's not Instagram. It's not like cute movies, beach date nights, and all that other shit. It's like you make that promise to each other to work together to get to a point where you commit to each other and stay loyal, as well as you know building a life and a partnership together. Mm-hmm. And I think that scares a lot of people now because you're right. Like with Instagram, everyone sees with Facebook. The like best everyone of the best. sees the best version of. Every other person in your friend group, like you just see the good, you don't really see the bad. Mm-hmm. And when people in their own, look into their own relationship, relationships and see, oh, this isn't good, that means I have to get rid of it. Versus, mm-hmm. this isn't good, let's work together to figure out what's wrong and work through it. And I feel like that's a huge part in today, like what we're all dealing with, like yeah. in our society. As an example of that, yeah. I have, I know a couple who. Uh, they're very big on posting stuff, mm-hmm. you know, like they'll post things even before the actual event just be like, oh, I'm so in love. But the <laughs> the girl in the relationship is multiple thousands of dollars in debt. Oh, wow. Okay. The guy, her husband, refuses to help her with it. Oh, God. <clears throat> it's like, that's her money. That's her debt. Yeah. So I'm, I'm not paying with my money. It's like, but it's a partnership. Yeah. Like, what's going on there? Yeah, you got to help each other to a certain extent. Like, if you realize your partner's <clears throat> struggling, like, it's either you guys build a plan it's together. A yeah, it's a, Financially yeah, to figure out mm-hmm. how to get her to that point where she realizes I need to fix my shit. Yeah. And get it together and get rid <clears throat> of this debt where he helps her in a way, like, where it slowly diminishes, but she still has to work too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
You like, can't just offshoot it off to yeah. your partner. Yeah, it's not like that's her issue because yeah. it's, it's your together It's like, because I feel like a lot of people take advantage, too. Like, that's also what we see in our generation. It was like a lot of people try to take advantage <laughs> of other people, in a sense. Like, they don't, maybe they don't mean it. It's like, I'm gonna get mine. Yeah, but they're just like, oh, I didn't ask them to do that, so... Uh, like you know somebody is like oh this person got me a coffee and i didn't ask them to do that they're like oh but i got you coffee and they're like well i didn't ask you to do this for me like yeah. that kind of mentality it's like people are so not like selfish but it's it's you're right it's like i got mine i'm done with you kind of mentality yeah yeah on, the, on that point actually kind of tying in slightly to what you're doing as well i don't, I don't know the details of it but like in terms of company stuff like i am extremely driven to get to, to not work for anyone ever again yeah. and to work for myself to own it. a company mm-hmm. and to, to do whatever I need to do within reason to get there so if that happens to be successful then now there's another thing tying in to doubt in my mind of who I can trust yeah. if I have money yeah so that's that's why I'm also kind of like that's if it doesn't work now and if <laughs> if I do happen to be successful at this and run into money then what yeah. now I have to somehow vet that as well yeah it's honestly man it's really hard like relationships like mm-hmm. I feel like with him and I like it's just like you either it works or it doesn't in a sense like it's either you're willing as both as partners to work through it mm-hmm. or that's where you realize there's differences that you can't overcome and that's like where it just it has to be <laughs> Like, it's definitely, it's just that point of no return of trusting that partner. And if they somehow break that trust, it's either you go through and say, hey, we need to repair this, or is it worth repairing at that point and talking through it, in a sense? Like, because I feel like honesty is very key. Like, I feel like you definitely, in a new partnership, there has to be honesty with each other to make sure that it goes in the direction that you both want it to. And I know, like, in regards to money, is it very, it's important, like, it's a huge as one. much as we say it's not important, it definitely is important. And oh, yeah. especially when you want to, like, if you want to raise kids, like, all that other, like, it, ma- Marriage, yeah, relationship, marriage. it's not just emotional, it's yeah. a financial decision. Yeah. It's a business partnership. It's, there it goes. Yeah, exactly. That's and it's, like, that's it. when you have to, like, come to the point, like, I say early on in a relationship, like, I would definitely say talk about that. As soon as things are concerned. Yeah, as soon like I would say a month or two in, like, like hey, I got thousands of dollars of debt. <laughs> <laughs> you ready for that? Yeah, it's just more like you gotta be honest about that and then you guys work either work through it or you don't. Like it's just at that point. Because it's new. Like you don't wanna wait till four years oh, down the line. And oh, you're like, uh, I sense both yeah. water when we were trying to get the bottle out. You're out. really oh, deep into a relationship because that's just okay. gonna cause more pain. I, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's it's better to as much as it hurts and it sucks if somebody says I don't want to deal with that and then they end the relationship right at the beginning. At least you it's know. better. Yeah, it's better to do it then. Then first, find out yeah, ten fu- years down yeah, the line. Ten years down the line, we're, we're like, oh, we fucked up on this and now we're stuck. Oh, which by the way, I'm really like experience even unsuccessful relationships though. Hmm. I, I would have liked to even have the experience of unsuccessful relationships, though. So you can learn Well, yeah, no, I definitely yeah. get it. Because, like, it's like in high school, like, the, the, those relationships are stepping stones. Like, you slowly come to realize when you're getting older, mm-hmm. like, what you want and what you don't want. And especially with your parent, like, parents, too. Like, you see in their relationships, what do you want out of your partner that you don't want to see? Like, you see in your, my, my parents, like, they argue all the time. I don't want that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like I want to be happy in my relationship I don't want to be miserable Mm -hmm. and that's like what he and I I try to bring with him to the table we talk things through and we try to make sure we're both happy in the partnership when you can get me to talk when I can get (laughs) you to talk but we also like I'm a mouthpiece you're not (laughs) yeah you are oh god oh Jesus (laughs) sorry you're setting yourself up (laughs) but like it's like it's coming to terms with like when you first start dating it's like what are you willing to accept and what are you willing to not accept? What's a deal breaker and what's not? And that's like, you know, you have to have the disappointing relationships in life. It sucks, but it's yeah. life. You know, I, I have a, what? Um, I have um, like a working theory about where a lot of this uh, relationship anxiety and fear of commitments coming from. Mm-hmm. Because 
the amount of content like TV, Netflix, like one available and two that's produced yeah. <clears throat> uh, is just insane. So we always have something to see. The thing to churn stuff out quickly, you kind of have to be formulaic and people like drama. Yeah. So I think so much of what we see is just bad relationships all the time. Even as kids, like it's so easy to just sit on Netflix and be like, oh, let's watch. I, I can't think of a show because I don't like those shows very much. Yeah. <laughs> but it's always like drama fueled and everyone's always yelling and angry. It doesn't show the like boring six hour conversation it takes to decide if you're going to move to well, a new city or not. Yeah, it's like novellas in like the Un Univision. Like, yeah. the, um, you see all that's just drama, drama, drama. It's yeah. arguing like murder, stupid plots, revenge, all that other shit. And you're just like, okay, cool. Like, it's not boring, but. You're right, like those, well, I don't like watching those shows either. I don't yeah. feel like it does anything for me, but you see a lot of people that do love it. Yeah, and I, and I, that's my working theory is that because it's so readily available, it's like, it's it's the equivalent of junk food for your brain, yeah. you know? Or for your, uh, like, relationship brain that you're like, oh, this is what it should be. So either A, you're like, okay, I'll do this, and that's how I have a successful one, mm -hmm. or B, you're like, I don't want that, so I'm afraid of anything that resembles commitment. Or you just get bored, like, you know, you're not entertained by somebody, True. and you get that feeling of, oh, this is boring to me, Yeah. Like, you know, so I'm going to go to something else. Like, I feel like that's a huge part, too, mm -hmm. like, with relationships nowadays. Like, it gets boring sometimes, but, you know, you got to ride through it. What are you trying to say? Sorry, dude, you're boring. You're super dull. <laughs> no, so you're not, you're not. Uh, get you a man that has a 99. <laughs> I do. It's sitting in my cookie? kitchen drawer now. I got you one. Thanks, man. Cookie. Looking out for the boys. <laughs> How did they find a way to actually successfully date in Missouri? It's hard. No, I hear a lot of people complain about Tampa Bay and St. Pete. Have like, you thought about leaving? I have. You should. I have. I I, originally, my plan was going to be in like New York, mm -hmm. but that's not going to happen anymore. No. And then I was considering... Um, maybe California, but that's not going to happen anymore. Or Colorado, I guess. It's but expensive. I mean, Josh like Florida, Florida is like one of the biggest areas for the gay community, especially Miami. Yeah. Yeah, you can go to Miami, but that's yeah. that's a whole. It's I don't whole know. That doesn't seem like you're kind of gay. No. <laughs> Miami's like literally like people aren't that friendly over there either. Like I feel like it's. It's all them damn Hispanics. It's not even that. Like when Anthony and I were down there, it's just a whole different mentality. It's like it's barely America. Yeah, it's bar no. Like we went down there and we said hi to a dude in the elevator, and he didn't even look at us. We're like, hey man, and he's like. They they all have that yeah. like. Bronx mentality. Yeah. Well, it's not just rush. It's like I don't make eye contact with people because you might try to stab me. Yeah. You know, it's not like it's a hostile. Like it's a hostile environment. Like everyone's on edge. Everyone's on mm -hmm. edge, and, and anyone that sees friendliness is like they're trying to take advantage of me in a sense. And I get it, but at the same time, like that's not a life you want to live. No. What about like Austin? Oh, Austin, you would like Austin. I love Austin. Austin's it's, fun. Yeah. I did like Austin a lot. Uh, I have to look into kind of Austin, Austin Texas. Travel, dude. Just go to these places and, and like just explore them. The only place that I've actually traveled to like vacation wise is San Antonio. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's totally different. Yeah, I mean, I, that was for a convention. Though. You're gotcha. lucky because you're single and you have expendable funds, so you're able to go travel by yourself. Yeah. I mean, as long as you're okay with being by yourself and traveling by yourself, I mean, that's the time to do it. <coughs> take the chance. No offense, but like, you know, I've got Andrea. We all, you know, we both got to like. You gotta take that into consideration. We yeah. both have, you know, job and dog and all that shit. So well, I mean, I you definitely got a, dog, a job and a dog too. But yeah, I mean, I definitely am going to, to travel. <laughs> but <laughs> I didn't mean like that. Anyway, but COVID makes it hard too. Yeah, COVID. Yeah, oh, I'm yeah. not too worried about it to be honest. But the, in terms of barriers of getting there, yeah. that's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Um. But I mean, I don't know. Like in terms of this, like I'm not ready to leave this area because I just bought a house, obviously. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But um. But yeah, I mean, I just feel like I've, I've exhausted all options. On, yeah. Like where to look how to look and well honestly i feel like you honestly with most relationships i feel like it just happens when you least expect it i was about to it. say you're gonna find your soulmate tomorrow yeah i <laughs> on on that note yeah um my friend becky she used to work with me at uh at westgate like she was a she's a programmer now but she was something else before so she visited her sister up in portland and she was on on tinder <clears throat> just like you know hanging out and she matched with someone and uh she's she's gay also that's why i bring it up and she <laughs> six months later moved to portland and they just got married like mm -hmm. a month ago so it's one of those like like what you're saying yeah. is it just sometimes it just happens i mean yeah, jess happens. and i is another one like mm -hmm. we've been long distance the entire time we've been yeah. in a relationship 
I was like, I wouldn't choose to yeah, have someone guys, who's so far away, yeah. but it's like, it just fits. Yeah, you, you guys know? make it work, and it feels right. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, really yeah. get it. Like, I, I do get that, but I mean, in terms of me, I mean, I don't, one, I know I don't look that approachable in public. <laughs> <laughs> two, about RFB, I, man. two, I don't like the general public. I don't like being approached by random people. It doesn't yeah. only go well. Yeah. Because of just previous experiences of just people being annoying or dicks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I mean, like, I don't know. I have... Like I've I've done the whole like I'm I'm just not gonna look to do I'm just gonna do what I want to do and do what I need to do. I think that's the good thing yeah. to do. I I'll I'll say just because there's parallels <laughs> with Becky, she's also that way. She's very like I don't want to talk to people, but she just she tried one more time and it just it worked yeah. out. It's like the movie Science Guys. Yeah. Everything happens for a reason. But on on that note, if if you do want to come to visit anywhere in the West, like Midwest, you, I'll, I'll be your home. You know, um, just oh, come yeah. stay with Josh us. Josh is bringing you the uh, <laughs> yeah. You're like, come on, come on, oh, come on. Here, no, 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 take the comfy seat. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Princess Riley. Mm-hmm. She's going to wake. She ate chicken yes. nuggets and drank all her water. And took a bath. And took a bath. Oh, you're so clean. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Look. Oh, it's good. Look, we're, it's a much of a seat. Oh, she goes back to the bed. <laughs> come here. Let me see your head. I'm going to see your head. She's like, not today. Oh, look at you. We said she's a, a burrito and a mermaid together. Aww. A burrito. And now she looks like a saint <laughs> in a painting. Santa Maria? Look at her. Yeah. She's got her babushka. 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 <laughs> uncle, uncle. I thought babushka was bullshit. No, it's no, not a grandma. A babushka is a thing on your head when you're a Hungarian. Mm-hmm. It's like grandma of Russian. Well, now I don't know now who to believe. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're so confused, Donovan. Well, there we go. Part of <laughs> well, everything's not coming together anymore. <laughs> Sean, you okay? It's like Avatar. Mm-hmm. You sure? I have a question. <laughs> what? When did my parents tell you I'm gay? Nobody told me you were gay. Mm-hmm. Not according to Donovan. I didn't say that. And Josh. I said I think. I'm just curious of when. Nobody told me you were gay. Oh, well I am. Oh, that's fine. Honey, thank you for sharing that with me. I, I No, honestly, that means a lot to me. I, I honestly... <laughs> whether you are or are not, and you are... We love you the same. So my parents never brought it up. Not to me. Huh. You like Were you concerned that they did? No, but I was only because Donovan and Josh both remember the conversation. I'm I'm curious of how. My dad, I don't really care how. I don't remember when it was. A year. Cats out of the bag. Okay. A year or two ago, my dad came always like, so did you know that Sean was gay? And I was like, yeah. Well, that for a while. Okay, maybe well, I wasn't of, part of that no, conversation. No, I mean, maybe you weren't. I don't remember you specifically being there or yeah, not. I'm gonna try. Uh, I don't think you were, but I want, no, no honestly, you weren't. You weren't. Did um, you have one? No, yeah. half of one. But no, I, I've never heard that before. This we're, gonna, we're gonna share this one. It did happen. Okay, so, but I don't remember. Break it. No, no, no. I gotta share. I gotta okay, it. so Which I just assumed that they already know. It's never, I'm it's just never got pulled out. Sean, good for you. Here, baby. You're so ready. So also my parents don't know. No, no. Wait, I want to. Oh, they don't know. I haven't told her. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh. She told me. Huh? Well, I, I, I was under the impression you guys already oh. knew, and they, they, pretty much they do know. Like, I know they know. They're just waiting for me to say it. They just haven't it's faced okay. me. Wait, they wait. just don't know that he knows <laughs> that they know. Yeah. Basically. Okay, so how are you going to handle that? I don't know. I don't know. How do you want to handle it? I don't know. <laughs> Listen, it's your life, honey. <clears throat> I don't know. That's what you've been talking about for the past like hour. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so let me ask you this: Do you have somebody in your life? No. Oh. That's that's what I was waiting for to tell them. Oh, okay. But it just never happened. Okay. Do you think that if you told them no. that you were gay, <laughs> that they would be upset? No. I don't think so either. No, not at all. I'll settle on you because they love you. <laughs> I don't want you to. No, I, they wouldn't be upset at all. Mm. I don't think they would. Okay, well. So, okay, so I've never met anybody gay that is just sharing that with you. Hmm. So. It's not the first time I've shared it, so you're okay. <laughs> no, no, no. You met no, Nikki. What, no, what I'm saying is that I, I, I'm, I'm trying to understand for you mm. how you process that. To be able to feel comfortable 
sharing that with your parents? A lot of pain. Pain? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Okay, share that with me because I don't understand. No, not today. <laughs> okay. No, but like, yeah, the, for the, are you asking like the ability of me to say that? Is that what you're asking? I'm curious. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just. I, 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 you just told me you're gay, mm -hmm. and and thank you for sharing that you're because welcome. that's a very per. <laughs> no, it's a very personal thing, and you don't have to share that with me. No. Okay, and I appreciate you trusting me mm -hmm. to share Yummy. that. So. I'm trying to understand if you felt that comfortable to just say that to me. Mm -hmm. ah. Why haven't I told them? Right. Shh. Just because uh, I basically started going by the, the thing, uh, like I told them, that when I actually get involved with someone who I think I want my parents to meet, then I tell them prior to. It just hasn't happened. And I've oh. been saying that since oh, I was like okay. so 16, 17, 18. Okay, so you haven't met somebody that you want to like bring home and say, this is the person yeah, sure. I want to be with. Mm -hmm. So you don't feel the need to share that point of view with them until that happens. But yeah. don't you think maybe you might as well? I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't, there's no harm in doing so. No. I don't feel, but I mean, like, there's I mean, no harm in I just, I've just been, I've stuck by that, and I just, I don't remember. I don't know. I've, but you know what? You're growing. You're maturing. Hmm? And oh, you now have had some time so away from that house. Yeah. Or, you know, like, <laughs> which has They're made a extremely positive impact on you. From my perspective, like you are much happier. Let's just say his dad's a really <clears> Trump supporter. His, you just sit down and you just do and what like, you just did with like brown people. That's what they call you. Mm -hmm. like people I mean, you, you know. I mean, so you question me, me, but like, all you have to do is <laughs> say, kind of like, you know, okay, I I, I'm ready to just yeah. tell you guys, really? I'm gay. Yeah. I don't I'm have like, I, a partner. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have anybody wow. yeah. yet, but yeah, I'm telling you in advance people. because yeah. when I do oh, yeah, find that person, like just, I want yeah, you to I just kind of get, you're used to the idea. So then how does Don know? I don't know. Well, now he knows what I told him, or I guess it's like, oh yeah, you did tell him, yeah. I don't know. So I'm just, I'm just more curious yeah, how okay. and why, I mean, I never like, but how, how they're, uh, how, like, how they basically okay. figured out without knowing type of thing, and why. They because that. parents know their children. Probably more than you think. No, they do. Should I say hi? I mean, you have never as well. I have been. Okay, so, oh, all right. So let me ask you this. Okay, as a parent, mm -hmm. how many girlfriends do you have? Me? Yeah, you. Girlfriends? None. Exactly. Okay, so don't you think that that fact alone would put a question mark in their mind? Maybe he doesn't like girls. I mean, yeah. Okay, so there you go. That's the bottom line. That's the only. That's the only thing. If you had had like several girlfriends over the years, and they didn't work out, okay, it can just be it didn't work out. But you haven't even had girlfriends, so that makes a parent think maybe he's not interested in girls. And it's not to say, I mean, you haven't had, you've had friends, right? Mm -hmm. You have your your boyfriends, and I don't mean boyfriend, Dude, but guys. I mean your friends who are boys, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and that's who you hung out with. Mm -hmm. And Casey. <laughs> and Casey, yes. Which the, everyone thought I was dating for the longest time. Which you were not. Which and, is now probably a parent. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what, Sean? Listen, honey, I am so happy for you. Because I think moving out of your parents' home was the best thing you could have done. Oh, 100%. Oh. Thank fucking God. <laughs> <laughs> and, and honestly, okay, you're here because hard work. Mm -hmm. You got yourself to a point where you felt confident enough to do it. And you're a different man because of it. And kudos to you. Okay, now, take the next step. And 
whether or not you have somebody that you're interested in, what you need to do is go to your parents and go, listen, I am so happy to be where I am. Very proud of myself for what I've done. And I am confident enough to tell you right now, without me having any other reason, just to be honest with you, because I love you and I know you love me. I want to be totally honest with you. I'm gay. And I'm gonna go from this point forward. I don't have anybody now, but I'm in a place now in which I can find someone. There is no reason for you not to tell them, Sean. They love you. But the also part of it is you're not the one saying it. You're seeing it from a mother's perspective. Are you concerned about Aaron? Always. Why? <laughs> I, I've never, I never knew what he was going to say to me. You know, he's, he's okay, to... okay. Aaron can say <laughs> some stupid things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but Why? Aaron loves you. No, I'm not concerned in that way. It's just he, the, the way he talks That's and handles horrible. conversations, I'm not a fan of. I, I, I can understand that. Yeah. <clears throat> but, 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 but no, just prepare yourself for that. If you know that to be true, prepare yourself. You're strong enough. Or if you're not strong enough, don't do it yet. No, you, I definitely can. But I mean, the, the point I'm trying to make is the for example i said it to you it's like there was no there was no like tough well, thing about it i am so happy like, so I said, that like, comes I, like, like no i told you with these when i years ago and i told donovan like it wasn't tough but like i mean the only reason i can do so like without really having some type of like emotional strain or like anxiety like oh, holy shit the other thing is because like I've already gone through that the first time I've had to say it, like I've, the first couple times. But I mean, like, Good. Uh, telling my parents, like, I don't, like it, it, it will be a little bit like okay, like kind of, I'll be like a little bit anxious about it. But I mean, I don't see like it's, like you said, there's no reason not to. Right. But there's also the also the way I see it is there's no reason is there there is no reason to tell them at the moment. Okay. I, I think. I think what she's saying is that the the reason too is to quell inner turmoil. Yeah, most because definitely. I, I think that the it I don't know. I I can only imagine that it's it's like a mini storm in your head at all times and letting that storm out is just going to make everything else easier. No, it's yeah. the best feeling in the world. Yes. Yeah. And and the fact that Sean, I have seen a complete transformation in you since you moved out. <clears throat> You're a different man. <coughs> so this actually is the time to do it. Now they're going on vacation. Let them go do their thing. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. When they come back and, and honestly, Sean, you don't have to make a big production of it. You can just come over for dinner. We won't be there. Okay. Just sometime when you're alone and go, you know what guys, <clears throat> I am so happy to be in my house. I am so proud of myself that I've done what I've done. And I feel very confident in who I am. And because of that, I want to share with you that I'm gay. And I wasn't able to do that living in your home. And you don't have to go into reasons. It was a, it was a, a myriad of things. <clears throat> it, there's no blaming, nothing, okay? And I can guarantee you, I know your parents very well, and I know how they feel about you. And they love you unconditionally. Unconditionally. And there will be nothing but thank you for letting us know and sharing that with them. So there is one thing that <clears throat> Donovan probably doesn't remember. Uh, never mind, so I won't bring it up. But anyway, Aaron's kind of, Aaron's kind of got some... I know Aaron very well. <laughs> no, with Aaron, I I do see some possible rocks, but I mean, I, I my mom would slap a shit out of them. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, that, like that I know. But I mean, like, specifics I, I'm not going to go into because it's not exactly, no. It's not really. It's unimportant. Well, it's, it's technically important, but it's not exactly <laughs> pleasant. <laughs> no. mm. 
Okay, Sean, you don't bring something up like that when you're trying to work through. No, like, for example, you guys were there, and it, you, it was Scott and Andrea's house, like, years ago. Yeah. Yeah, Scott and Andrea. What? <laughs> was I there? No, no. Okay. Donovan was, but he was... I won't remember. Uh, okay, excuse me, what, what, what happened? So, it was, um... I want to say my mom just had Evan. Okay. And... Okay, well, we weren't involved in your life when your mom just had Evan. No, Evan was very young. Like, it was, we... Still yeah, Scott, like, we, we were coming over back and forth to your house. Like, we, we all knew each other. So Evan was young. But we were at Scott and Andrew's house, and Aaron was, like, pretty much drunk. And so was Scott. <laughs> and somehow they got into the topic of, you know, sexuality and gay, blah, blah, blah. And I remember Aaron vividly and aggressively saying about Evan, my son's not going to be affected. So it's like specifically, like flat out cut and dry, like passion behind those words. Okay. So I mean, that's where I could see, because he's, he's also religious. And I can, I can tell from his, some of his upbringing, like where that comes from. But I mean, yeah, that's where I could see some possible bumps. But I mean, like I said, my mother would beat the fuck okay, shit out of him. Okay, okay. I, I would agree with you. Your mom would, would beat the shit out yeah. of her. <clears throat> but you have to understand, okay, your brother is now older, mm -hmm. and so is Aaron. And Aaron has, Aaron may have been speaking from a new father's perspective. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> a lot genetic. changes as your children grow. And I, I, I understand that, that if you are, were already thinking or had identified yourself as being gay at that point, <clears throat> how scary that would be to hear that. Well, I mean, I, I, never, I was never really scared or intimidated by it. It's just, uh, it's more of like a battle that if it happens, I'm prepared to, to go with. Honestly, Sean... Because, I mean, like, if, for example, if, if he's inebriated, like, one is probably a little bit more dramatic than it was you intended it to be. One. Then you certainly don't can tell I, him when he's inebriated. Can, no. can I also oh. interject real quick? That, I'm not dismissing what he said, but that may have also been him responding in a way that he thought was appropriate to hang around Scott. Yeah. That's 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 well, that's true, too. Was Scott pretty aggressive? <clears throat> in that sense, Oh, yes. Scott, Scott was... Uh, I don't remember much of him. Very oh. right wing. Uh, very opinionated. He was like... Strong, yeah, very strong yeah. in his opinions. So were, yeah. Thank you for bringing that up. Yeah. And <clears> I mean, I'm not defending what he said, but I feel, I feel like that may have been a reason. And, and, and I want a, you to understand, person, I have known your parents for the past I met your brother mm -hmm. when he was 14 months old mm -hmm. okay you know how old he is now and, yeah. Yeah. and we have had a life that has been intertwined we are not just friends we are family <clears throat> and I know your I, I know Aaron and I know your mom mm -hmm. and there is no doubt in my mind at this point in time maybe at that point in time whether what what Donovan said was an issue or not, <clears throat> I can guarantee you, Aaron loves you. He loves you. I know it was, it's been rocky, but he loves you. And he only wants the best for you. I know that to be true. No, I know. I'm like, I'm not worried about telling them. That's like, that's like the bottom line for me on that. Like, it's just like cut and dry. Like, I'm not okay, really I'm sorry. Them. That that was the the <sighs> precipice for my ranting. Was that I got the sense that you were concerned about telling them. No, I mean, it's more of just like a the if if what I have seen could like from what he said. Like, but basically, I'm taking what he said. Like, if. The, if that still happens to be true for how he feels, then I'm prepared to fight that battle. I don't think you're going to have to fight it, Sean. Because he loves you, and he respects what you've done, and who you are. And, and honestly, <clears throat> and, I, and I'm going to say this as a parent. <clears throat> when you have children in your home, and you as a parent are responsible for them. There's a whole different mindset that goes on that like, okay, 
I may be responsible for their behavior, okay? When your children venture out on their own, there is a shift in which you say, oh my gosh, I think this is wonderful. They are venturing out on their own and what, no matter what choice they make, it's their choice, not mine. It, as a parent, you no longer have to own your child's choices because you are no longer responsible. And you can, that gives a parent the freedom to accept news like that and say, that's awesome, honey. If, if you know who you are and that's where that you want to do, you, the direction you want to go, we support you 110%. I mean, if any of my children came to me and that, okay, if they came to me as a teenager and said that, I'd be like, oh, okay, let's see where that goes. But as an adult, if you came to me and said that, I'd be like, you're an adult. You can make your own decisions. And it's, it's a release for you and it's a release for the parent. You are an adult making a living, owning your own house. You can make any decision you want. And we love you enough to support you with whatever you decide to do. Now, if you go out killing people or, you know, doing drugs or <clears throat> whatever that is, we might go, oh, we're really scared. But if, if you're doing everything that it takes to be an adult, we're just behind you because we love you unconditionally as parents. Josh, what were you going to say? You your hand up for a oh, Would you agree, um, honey? I got distracted with a comedy bit that I didn't want to ruin the tone of the conversation with. I said, if it was, if I came to you now to say I was gay, it'd be extra confusing. It would be confusing. <laughs> yeah. Because of this. No, um, you look like I, Jesus right now. Uh, right? A little bit, a little bit. <laughs> well, I, I think what I was going to say is I, 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 I don't get the sense that that's really his concern that he's going to have to fight the fight, but because he is no, he is that event happened this entire time thinking about it. Right. He's thought that is a possibility, whether it's one percent or ten percent, whatever it is, it's something that he still has to think about <laughs> because, oh, like, you're a very smart person, so. You think, I'm assuming, you think through many different scenarios because I do the same thing. Right, so right. it's like, okay, I need to have a contingency plan if it goes like buck, right. fucking wild. Right, right, you know? right. And, and I think what he's saying is there's been so much buildup because the rock bottom is so low and has been presented before. It's not fabricated. It's something that he experienced no, regardless no. Of, of the softening of time. Okay, and I and I agree, and I, I'm not dismissing that, Sean, and and thank you for bringing that up. But the point is, is that the reality is, time does soften things, and because this has been, this has been, this thing that you've been living with, <clears throat> in which you have not been sharing with the world. All so of actually, the, if I may stop you, everyone really knows besides my family. Well, that's great. I'm glad you told everybody else. But the point is, is that the one that's giving you the most grief is your family. <laughs> so, okay, I agree with what he's saying. <coughs> Rabbit. Damn, how'd that go? Go away, Smoke. Okay. Uh, honey, I, I, I think what you're saying is valid. And I think that, yes... <clears throat> your family is the one that you are the most concerned. Okay, you tell whoever you told, besides all of us, <clears throat> there's no vested interest, okay, with your outside world. In terms of how you have been growing up, and what you ex you think your ex the expectations are of your parents 
but I, honestly, Sean, I, 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 I really think that Aaron, Aaron, really young to have a teenage person. How old was he? He was was he twenty eight? He was twenty seven. Twenty seven. He was twenty seven mm-hmm. when he was. 11, 14? No, 12. 12. 12. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he became a step-parent to a 12-year-old at 27. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah! Ah! Okay. Talking about bad timing. Uh, (laughs) So, he had a lot of growing up to do. And he is now Mm -hmm. 37. They're almost 38. And he's learned. And and Aaron has always been, Aaron is an old soul, okay? Yeah. He really is. And that's why your mother was attracted to him because she was, what, eight years older, nine years older? Mm -hmm. He's 27, she's 34, 35, 36. My math is not good right now. But the point is, is that they have built a life together and Aaron has grown and the fact that Don and Aaron are best friends shows that Aaron he has his issues but he's an old soul okay and he's learned to grow and he has grown and I what you're not worried about it happening you don't have to convince him that it's not going to happen what He's not worried about that event happening. He's not worried about Aaron blowing up. That's what I heard. No, no, no. Mm. It's, I'm prepared for the possibility. It's... The possibility. Yes, but no, Mom, you're, you're not... You don't speak developer. <laughs> <laughs> I understand the way he talks. Okay, he, no, he, I don't he, speak he talks developer. like a scientist. Okay, I don't I'm prepared developer. for the possibility that I lose my job, my house, and she leaves me tomorrow. Mentally. I don't expect it to happen at all. But I'm prepared for the possibility because I have an overactive mind. I would agree. That's what I mean. That's what he's saying. He's saying. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I and, and that's that's why I'm, okay. I'm me- that's I why I'm mediating. That's okay. why I'm mediating. Okay. He's he's not he doesn't expect it to happen, but his his like scientific brain is like there is a non-zero chance that that happens based on evidence that I've seen in the past. So that's that's all he's saying. So okay. Okay. Like, so so Sean, with you sharing that with me, I thought. You wanted some reinforcement from me, and clearly that's not what you were looking for. <laughs> so that's what, why I'm here. <laughs> what were you looking for? What, what what were you looking for other than to share that with me? Was or curious, was that the bottom line? I was curious of how um, you know, how and why the information came to Don, and you, I thought it was thought you were involved too. Since so no. I brought it up, but yeah, that was. I thought you said something to me about it. No. I don't know. I did not get that information. Mid twenties were a blur. I don't like those years. <laughs> hey, all of us have had a blur. I know. Period. I know. All right. So okay. So bottom line, I'm gonna stop talking because ten. I tend to talk too much. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. I know. I know. I know. But you guys love me for it, right? We do. Okay. So thank you, Sean, for sharing that with me. And um, all I'm gonna say is I know your parents well enough long enough and they love you enough just share it let it go but maybe you need a little more time to enjoy not that it's going to make any difference in terms of your moving out and being on your own but as you continue to be in the state in which you are of growing and being independent, you may find the right time for you, not for them, for you. And you don't have to wait until you find a partner. You just have to get to the point where you're like, I don't want to keep this a secret from you anymore. I like being with you guys. I love being away from you. I love having my own home. And you know what? I just want to tell you. And I get it off my chest. What if you just keep making it more and more obvious. And it just culminates with you wearing a big shirt that says, I'm gay. 
<laughs> but don't address it. Don't address it. Wait for them to bring it up. Here I am. Okay, I, I honestly think that the, the four of them are a better advice giver in terms of when you do it. I'm just telling you, I think you should do that. It's funny. from a parent perspective and knowing your it's parents. It's pretty good. It's like yourself in a room. Yeah. <laughs> and it, want, it's two want, mercury symbols like doing it. Your concern, I can't. Sean. <laughs> Okay, I love and ex accept you for whatever you choose. Oh, Mars, right? Yeah. Okay. Mars, 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 Mars. I got what you know what I meant, I yeah. I get that. <laughs> you don't think your parents will? <laughs> no, no, they will. Hello. Okay, completely. So, yeah, so you, you have to be ready, ready when you're ready. And you just do it when you're ready. Where's the other one? You're still the oh, but, lies. <laughs> but honestly, Sean, thank you so much for sharing that with me. I know that was difficult. Are, are actually surprising. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So I mean, like, uh, uh, like on and that, on that topic, it's it's actually has hasn't been difficult for me for years, because I mean I've already, I've already gone through the pain of that. A pain of what? Having actually said. Oh. Okay. <laughs> gotcha. No, I understand. That. Protect. I understand. So protective. Yeah, protect. <laughs> Protect, attack. Sorry, I'm not but trying to distract. Honestly, I just this is functional. He protect, he attack. <laughs> what is it? What is uh, it? This person, uh, their parents gave her like a whole bunch of like Ellen. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, shit, yeah, yeah, shit. yeah, watch the fire. <laughs> I was like, ooh, it's Look at my own batteries. They blow up. Do they? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it was just fitting for the conversation. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Oh, it's Ellen. Yeah, but did you read the caption? What the fuck? My parents got me. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you find that? I was just scrolling on Reddit. <laughs> I do like that. That is hilarious. Also, memes have become over the Yes, years. they have. <laughs> Pain sometimes. It's really, hard. like, memes are just now sharing your life with Yeah, people. honestly, yeah. Yeah, it's like this sharing a united like making, feeling making humor of your pain most yeah. Of the time. yeah yeah <laughs> you're just like i get it like it's yeah. it's it's so like genuine but misguided yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're like you laugh but at the same time you're like i should cry at this yeah. well, <laughs> well, you know it's like, no it's like they, they try like they mean well yeah you know? exactly exactly isn't it <laughs> awesome that you have these guys around you They're known fuck. you forever <laughs> hello mm -hmm. <laughs> Andrew's all right and, oh okay Hello, Jess is over here too. She's good also. She is also awesome. Yeah, I'm so Thank you. <laughs> I like you guys. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Sean. Wow. Sure. Oh, great. <laughs> it's nice to genuinely like your extended family. Yeah, it, well, mm -hmm. it, it's awesome. Like, I so we have a little bundle over there. <laughs> she's yeah, underneath sleeping. now. Yeah. She is she asleep now? No. That's because oh. her belly's full and she's hyped. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> She's a little bundle over there. Cute little laugh. <laughs> She's so fucking too. I'm telling you, she is some spitfire, that little one. Yeah. She said that's so cute, I love you. <laughs> no, she's gonna be super funny. I'm teaching her sarcasm from here on out. Oh dear god. <laughs> she's gonna, yeah, I, Look, I I'm telling wait. you, sarcasm makes you smarter. I can't wait for when she's older and she like starts using it more and I'm like, this is gonna be good to see how it turns out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna set her up so that she can e either be an amazing comedian or like a brain surgeon. There you go. Whatever she wants, yeah. she gets the whole spectrum so, uh, and she gets to choose. <laughs> hey, if she can be like Kevin Hart level famous. Oh my god, that's so awesome. That'd be great. Like making movies, like, you know, just to make money, not even to make money, just to have fun. Yeah. It's like. <laughs> the dream. Has anyone looked up in the last 15 minutes? Uh, yeah, it's, I have been. It's beautiful. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what was that one show you watching? Oh, it's like yeah. the office. Can I help? Sorry, yeah. never mind. <laughs> oh, you start tallying. Yeah, when you start tallying, it's like, I was probed by. Did you hear Henry Riley? <laughs> okay, it's okay, it's almost out. You got it? Okay. Almost. Okay, it's only life form. It is, uh, yeah, it's a little cold. Oh, yeah, it's definitely cold. It's definitely. Cold. Yeah, it is. It's uh, 48 degrees, my, my friends. Yeah, and it's Florida cold. That's, yeah, this is. It's a whole different kind it's, of cold. It's wet and it's biting. So, I walk outside in 45. Are you enjoying it? Yeah. Because I, I get a fire, I get to wear this. <laughs> no, when we came back from California, like, I could definitely, I never felt the difference before. Now you get it. But, like, because I've never been in a dry climate before. Like so it was, like, a, a totally different experience. Like, I felt like a napkin over there. It was yeah. So dry. But when we came back here the first night, like, I was cold. But at the same time, like, I was under the blankets and it was, like, moist. 
Yeah. But you could feel it in the air, like in between the sheets. You could, like, I could yeah. feel it. And I'm just like, gross. this is gross. <laughs> I'm like, ew, is this what everyone's talking about? <laughs> so, so how was your time with your sister in law? Oh, it was fun. No, we had a really good time. It sucked, though, just because, like, with COVID, like, they definitely have a lot more cases. So I get, like, they have to be really careful. Um, and it's just, like, we still got to eat takeout and everything. Different experience, like, versus, and we got to see the parks and everything like that. I still had a good time. No, get better. But it was, like, it was, California's a whole different world. It's another country. Yeah. But it was beautiful because I've never seen, like, deserty mountains. Like, you know, I'm used to Tennessee mountains and, like, that whole vibe. But, like, the desert, like, it was awesome. And, like, she actually took us to um, the edge of Mexico, like, right before the because oh, okay. I can't go I don't have a passport so I can't go over right but I like got to see it and it was just, it was just really cool wow. just to like get that close and like just see the whole different the west coast in general I've never been oh that's awesome yeah so it was it was, it was awesome like the dry air was definitely a hit to get used to yeah like because when we the first day I was okay but after that, I like took a shower and I could feel it. Like I put on lotion like every like really? hour. Like I was really dry. Wow. Yeah. Wait till you go out to Colorado. Yeah, I was gonna say like, they're trying to get us to go up here. I'm like, Come on out. Yeah, oh I'm gosh. ready. I'm ready to I see. Have, I have acne prone skin. Yeah. And when I go over there, it's actually like dry as I really? don't know what. Really? Is it better or worse? My skin gets better, but it gets really red. Oh. So like here, it's just it gets very oily. Yeah. But over there, it's like yeah, very because we're always freaking red. sweating. Yeah. yeah. Always. Yeah. Yeah. No. You know how bad like I wear long sleeves and pants and boots all day long in this fucking heat. I can't like stay clean. Like I'm a very oily person, and it's just. Yeah. yeah, you're just naturally yeah. gross. I definitely noticed it is. here in California when my breakouts <laughs> stopped. Yeah, like when we were up there, like my breakouts weren't as bad. But it's, like yeah. here, it's I thought definitely. She knew. What? I thought she knew too. I thought she yeah. knew. Oh yeah, no, I, I thought she did. I she wasn't there then, I guess, for the yeah. conversation. I, 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 but... I swear to God. It was the, it, this is how it went. My dad was like, "Hey, did you know Shawn Gay?" I was like, "Yeah, I did." Okay. Maybe she was talking. There was to that, us. and then she came outside, and, and my dad goes, "You know what? Did you know Shawn Gay?" Okay? What? No, I'm saying that's what he said. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, no, the, I remember she. she no, she didn't. He didn't ask her. Like we were all. She left, and then he brought. Yeah, but then it up. she walked out. Yeah, yeah, but he. She walked in, and he didn't say anything after that. There, there's also a good chance that she forgot, you know? Like, this is also very true. There's a lot going on, so she just forgets. Yeah, stuff. like with Grano and everything, I know she's had a lot. Yeah, to I mean, do. there was something she said. So, what, what's today? Friday? Yeah, Friday. Yeah, there was something she said last night that she said again tonight, as if I'd never heard it before. Yeah. I'm like, you told me yesterday. Yeah. There's a lot going on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah? Of course. Temperature's dropping like crazy. Oh. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I wonder how Don knows. That's the real question. Okay. That's the real question. Yeah, how? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that would be it. Oh, my legs are hurting. Yeah. Well, yeah. They they Ooh, I just wake them up. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Don. I got a yeah. question for you. I got a question for you, Don. Can you call him while he's flying? Oh, my God. Hey, hey Don? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got to talk. <laughs> Yeah, that's the noise. Yeah. This is your pilot speaking. We're going to have to make an emergency landing. <laughs> just imagine he accidentally presses the intercom. <laughs> it's just the whole plane listening. Yeah. <laughs> the phone is Bluetooth connected to the airplane. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> No, did you see that news article about, like, I don't remember which, like, flight it was, but apparently we had this couple, like, no, tried to get off the plane, and they used the one? emergency exit while the plane was about to take off. That's what I'm talking about. Had... That's just, like, no, I'm, was, I'm it, with my own life. No, but it was, like, a couple of Yeah, dogs, it's a tapestry. But they, I don't remember why they did it, but it was like, disrupted the whole plane. I know. That's, like, a whole, like, security. <laughs> that is a security breach. I was like, damn, son. For about, I think something was going on with the dog, and we are like, no, we're taking... Taking, we're getting off of this plane. I'm like, geez. All right. Going. If you want to go, you got to go. But Josh has got podcast content now. Oh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> the junk drawer. He's got the conversation. Yeah. Oh, man. No, at least he got it out of the open with her. Like, she's easier to talk to. Oh, yeah. It's, I do agree with you in the sense of, like, Aaron and Dawn. Like, how. Because... Yeah. Like, and also, you told me at one point that Don doesn't like the guys. He, I think he's homophobic. 
I don't. It's not like he hates him and like that because and, and Josh will attest to this whenever he just doesn't understand. Like he, if it, he doesn't understand it, he's, he's a product of his age. I yeah. think he's grown a little bit since then, but like he's also like uh, like Josh's friend Nikki in high school was gay and he came over for dinner one time and like my dad was just he did like had the whole like oh it's just a phase mentality. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I wouldn't say he's like bigoted like. I've been fucking dick for like 35 years. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry, what? Like, squeeze me? <laughs> Take a couple steps back Repression. there. Repression. <laughs> <laughs> Just pulling those lines or something. <laughs> when did you know you were gay? Well, when I was at the glory hole. Oh and my I a god. On the other side, Stop. And I realized I've been sucking a dude's dick. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my Man, that would be. I don't know if I keep a straight face on that one. Let's <laughs> <laughs> just start cracking up. I like just to like, keep a straight face. I do like the t shirt idea. Like, it was like, just slowly bring it up. Just like, I'm gay. Okay. Well, I mean, they had a pretty clear. And they still didn't, you know. I don't know. I don't know. Like, sometimes they, they just want to. I think they're waiting for you to bring it up. Because yeah. parents, like, well, my parents, it's just uncomfortable was... to talk about people. Josh. Oh, yeah. yeah, to a certain extent. Okay. No, let's, let's so not just tell gonna them be Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, you don't want that one? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Those are, those are your stories. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to do that one. <laughs> and now I have a full picture. I'm going to take blankets. Yeah, I, was, I was in here dying. <laughs> I was out here. I don't think you were part of the picture yet. Oh, this is an actual picture. Yeah, I know. Just when I told them. Oh, oh, you're talking about there. I think you're talking about... Like whenever the shit the arms. Okay, no, I still confused. remember. I still remember Scott and Andrea. I still remember mm. when we were out there and she was cheating on him and we saw the dude. Oh yeah, that was yeah. awkward. <gasps> that was yeah. Oh my god, yeah, bro. We were... So the, the tea, the cheese me. So <laughs> so yeah. And then we were just chilling. Like this is when we first started dating, mm. and we were just chilling on the driveway over here, just talking, like you know, having a conversation. Doing teenager things. Yeah, doing teenager things. Like, just looking at the stars, I think, is literally what we were oh, doing. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. <laughs> stars. <laughs> yeah. But, like, we're out there, and apparently, I think Scott was working, because I remember his car wasn't in the yeah. driveway. But Andrea's car was. Well, she, no, she comes home. But yeah, she came home, and then she got home, she, and then another car came, like, she, a guy... Or maybe she, she got, out of the, got, got, got out of the no, car. No, because we saw the guy walk out of the house. Oh, uh, that's right. So, like, she's home, car pulls up, parks, and a guy walks out... And then he goes into the house, and I remember like two hours later, an hour later, they both walk out together, and I'm pretty sure I saw like they they were like kissing each yeah. other, and then they didn't realize we were outside, and they saw us, and I'm just like, ooh, ooh, oh. hey. Hey. and the guy's name was Donovan too. Was it? Oh wait, you knew? Yeah. Oh, oh my god. No, I think she's married now, and he are both married again. They're friends with me on Facebook. Oof. Yeah, because I, I heard um, because when they brought my mom told me the names, I'm like. Are we talking about the same people? <laughs> no. Or are we talking about no. like a mix of them? Yeah, no, that was confusing too because she has my name and I'm like, no, 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 not me. Uh, 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 uh. No, that was that's a bold move. Yeah, no. I was thinking like, Mm-mm. wait. No. So, but I was like, damn, like I can't believe I just watched this all unfold. I'm like, well, <laughs> shit, like I. And it was, it's an awkward position to be in, because I'm the type of person, like, if I see that, I'm going to be like, I want to tell the other person. I'm like, look, this is going on. Like, I feel like you should he- you should hear it from your spouse. Mm-hmm. But if they're willing to hide that from you, you're just kind of, and you see it, uh, like, I don't know. I feel like it's a responsibility of that person to be like, hey, this is going on. Like, I know it's not my place, but I feel like you should but, know. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm, like, brain dead right now. What did you say? No, like, when, like... Whenever we were in that situation, I wanted to tell him. Like, uh, not, not I know our, it's not our place, but at the same place. time, like, I would want to know. Yeah, you want to know, but it's not your place. Not I know, place. which is why I didn't say anything, but at the same time, I was like, I would want to know, like, you know, like, if that were me. I mean, I, there, any relationship I have been in, actually the longest one lasted four weeks. Mm-hmm. But I actually, I have, I've been cheated a couple times, but yeah. I actually caught every time. Yeah. With, like... And not it visibly sucks. caught, but like I mean, I put two you know, together. Yeah, so you knew. Like, yeah, it's just, and it's like hard. Like I know it's not like our place, but it's oh man, you were getting blasted with that smoke. <laughs> Send the signal. <laughs> Help. No, but it's like it's definitely it sucks. Like it's a very hard place when you're like an outsider in that yeah. whole perspective. Like it's really hard to figure out what the right thing is to do 
I think I'm putting a pride banner on my wall when my parents walk in. Do it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put the colors. Let's put the colors, you know? Let's put the colors. Let's put the colors. Yeah, but please don't mention that stuff to Blaine oh. about the whole thing. Because yeah. his parents, oh, I didn't tell you, but his parents like never say hi to me. Really? Yeah. I, well, I don't know because we had black that. Oh, uh, that sounded really bad. <laughs> Our buddy Maurice was there all the time in high school. And he yeah, was black, but like, and, like they never maybe his mom didn't hear me because I have met her I, only once. I think but I every like time I've met, I've met the dad more than a couple of times, and every time I say hi, don't I don't get anything, and I know how. Blaine's dad is, and he's very for Trump, very um, very right wing, very right wing, very wasn't a reason or opinions, very racist against anyone who either doesn't believe in what he believes in or is it? I I I know I think he's racist. Like I get that vibe. Okay, I'm a white guy, so I can't really. Like, like, and the things he says about people that have my skin tone or like anyone south of the you know North America, like the border here. Oh, there's negative connotations in everything he says, and I just can't handle that, and I don't like that. Okay, we'll just try to go into it. I know, I'll pay but like to when I, before I knew him, and I didn't even know about stuff, I he never said hi when to me. When was the last time you met him? It's been a while. Was, but I remember when we went to the movies. Like we were over at Blaine's house one time. This was a long time ago. Okay. Well, at least a year, because we don't go over often. But I remember every couple times we have been, I've never gotten a response out of him. People always think I'm Arabic. <laughs> I you can, but the same time. with my brother. Like, he is, yeah. yeah, Anthony is very... If you grow out a beer, you probably look at it. Yeah. Like, it's just, like, it sucks, though, because I, I know, I know you don't see it, but, like, I see it, and it's very... I mean, personally, like, this is just me, being yeah. me, but I mean, like, if, you know, like, if I, like, if you said, like, hey, what's up, man, and, like, just doesn't worry, I'd, I'd be stating, like, hey... Is See, like, did you just not fucking hear me? Like, that's like what I would I do. thought that at first, too. Like, the first time. Like, I thought that. And then after, like, the second or third time where that happened again, that's when I'm just like, all right. Like, and I'm very... I pick my battles. I can be confrontational when I want to be. I don't like to be. But I'm just like, it's not, it's not worth it at this point. I was like, it's his friend's dad. And I'm just like, you know... I never like to bring it up because it makes me very uncomfortable. It's been a while since I've had that happen to me. Because, like, it's very Spanish majority down here versus up where I grew up from. And I'm just like, it's been a while. And at that time, I was like, it's not worth bringing up. Yeah. Okay. You know? Like, it's not worth the battle. And if there's no changing that guy's mind anyway, he's, like, dawn set in his ways at this point. Like, yeah. with certain things. I remember when I walked into a patient's room in the ER, mm-hmm. and without even, like, everyone just looked at me for a second, and then they're like, oh, Arabic, just yeah, at me. yeah. Like, you get assumptions, <laughs> and it, even then, like it sucks because, like, you know, what happens if you were Arabic and you're just like these people really think of me in this light? Like, it's kind of it, no, yeah, like it, it sucks. It, I found it. I found it really funny. But it's like, yeah, it looked at me like, oh, and then like, it starts speaking Arabic. Oh no! And, <laughs> and then, you're just like, oh, that's not my language. Yeah, buddy. then I just, I, I yeah. just like stopped and looked at the guy, and he's like, you speak Arabic? And I'm like, no. He's sorry. Like, oh, bro. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> And then no. they only the, only, the only family, the other family members only spoke Arabic. And really? Spoke English, so that's why they were like, oh, gotcha. Yeah. And it sucks too, like with that language barrier. Yeah. Especially because I feel like I don't speak fluent Spanish, and like it's, it's like I'm missing an I part of myself, mm-hmm. in a sense. Same like with the white side of my family, they don't really get what I go through, mm-hmm. and it's like you don't really have that identity. And it's just, I feel bad, like, for, you know, Im- immigrants, in a sense. Like, they don't sometimes they have that, especially with, like, Arabic and, like, non-common, like, languages in America. It's, like, it's very hard to find a connection when you're in an English-speaking country. Yeah, actually, but I... But Spanish is becoming, like, majority. So I was yeah. actually on the opposite side of that recently. Mm-hmm. Because I was actually talking to someone, and I was, I was debating like, a date, and I realized, like, English isn't really a strong language for them so mm-hmm. it's, there's no way if we can't communicate effectively it will work so i yeah. just like kind of like i don't want to i don't want to have to learn spanish and have to teach advanced english in the yeah. same time i get it like because that's how my grandma my, my abuela like she she's been in this country for a long time like since <clears throat> the 80s seven, 70s or 80s mm-hmm. and they still my grandpa and my grandma haven't learned english they rely on like other people and i 
my mom never taught me Spanish and I was like, you know, I can learn. It's, it's just tough to get to that mentality or, or be willing to do that when you weren't raised in that environment. So I get it. Life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Italian though, I learned Italian. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> God, I forgot to go to movie. Nah, Mario, <laughs> Luigi. Oh, it's Koopa. a me. Right? Is that <laughs> Italian? <laughs> the Gabagool. Ah, <laughs> give me the Gabagool. No, Vacanculo. Oh, What's that? The Gabagool. Ah. <laughs> oh, that's, oh, I was like, wait a minute. I heard something. I was like, I know something yeah. about that. Puta. Cabron. Mm. That's what I got. Cabron? <laughs> goat? Hello? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Spanish, I, I want to work on Spanish. Yeah, no, I'm definitely, I need to like download the Babel app again. I know I've been saying that to him like forever. Is Babel better than Duolingo? I I feel, I like Is Babel a lot. Than yeah. <laughs> I do like Babel a lot. I haven't tried Duolingo enough to really compare, so I can't really be honest it's on that aspect. And you don't need a Babel anymore. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. No, but I was telling um, telling them, I was like, you know, it's hard to, I, like, I was telling, I don't really feel like I'm part of either culture mm -hmm. in my family, like my Spanish side or my, like, the white, white side. side. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I'm kind of like an outsider on both. Yeah, you're stuck in the middle. Yeah. You're an insider in my heart. Thanks, dear. I love you. <laughs> But I feel like learning Hello. Spanish would definitely help, you know. It's just tough to get to that mindset. Oh, you need some pants. <laughs> I, get, I like my head scratches. He does. Morning. He gets really mad at me. Oh in my god, I love yeah. that. Yeah, he gets mad at me in the morning if I don't pet his head. I'm like, oh, I, was like I just want to wake up. And That's a thing. Gather myself. <laughs> That's a thing. <laughs> Why do you do that? Oh, you, 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 what are you, you talking you about? Pet my head in the morning. I do. No, I wake up before you. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> It's yes. so great. Yeah, no, I, I, I sleep just, like I a rock. You do. Yeah, you guys like it. I'm not a huge. I don't like that, that like weird that Nestle one. egg thingy, that head thingy. What do you? <laughs> the spider. <laughs> yeah, the spider. It makes. Oh yeah. I love that thing. Me too. Like I remember when I was in it. kindergarten, like at the school I once, they always did like they always did lice checks. I don't know why. <laughs> they always did. It's I, rampant I, in kindergarten. I love that. <laughs> really? It was like a head massage, and like like I, I loved it. That's I need funny. you to double check me. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I, actually, I actually said like teacher. <laughs> I need you to be fair. Yeah, I think there's still something in there. I pulled one out. I think. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I love that. I don't know, just like the, like the like fine object, like that head thing. Yeah. Oh my god. I love Fingernails. Mm. <laughs> yeah, no. Hey, hey, he's getting one. <laughs> Look. He's yeah. Like, Jesus hair. <laughs> oh, I love to. I do all the time. I know you do. We do I know, but now I remember that I want you to do it right now. <laughs> oh, okay, I got you. Do they have a stock eight of DVDs here? I want to watch Star Wars. Oh my god! We watching that Disney Plus. No, we're doing that tomorrow. They don't have any kind of late. streaming anything in the, in the house or in the room that we're staying in. Oh yeah, yeah. we watched. We have a DVD player. We watched Shrek we Two last we night. We watched Shrek Two last night. And the <laughs> DVD was. Puss in boots. I think. Um, <laughs> I think on either side of the TV in the bottom, I think that's where the DVDs are. This is great though. I love Shrek 2. I love that movie so much. What about me? Then do you guys have Star Wars on DVD? Um, no. You've been... You've been bamboozled. You've been jammed. You know what, Okay, I do... We have the... I know you guys... VHS? Did you watch something last night? Yeah, we watched Shrek 2. Okay. Yeah. Electric so, Boogaloo. Okay, those are just the, the videos that we had upstairs, but there's ones down here. I was right. So yeah. you have to look through them. All right. All right. He was right. Where are the cookies so I can put them away? Right okay, there you go. Can I, can I have the sugar cookie first? Because <laughs> I haven't had enough sugar today. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Yeah, Your you, pancreas is screaming you at you, so son. Much. See? You see what? Oh, there's no more sugar to it. Okay, I'll take some. Thank you. Sean. See what I tell you, Sean? I step back it. into it, right? See? Oh, man. Oh, man. Thank you. Oh no, you knew. <laughs> I was like, oh, I can't resist. Yes. Yes. Which one do you want? Honey? I'll take this half because I'm responsible. Oh, man, I'm so I know you're not gonna eat them. No, they're so cold though, Cookie. Let me warm them up. You're just what? icing it there. No. Oh. <laughs> I feel you, Sean. I'm getting tired too. Mm -hmm. You're feeling it, mm -hmm. Mr. Krabs. 
Yeah, I didn't get drunk. I think all the alcohol went in my brain. Oh, I got fuzzy. really drunk. I'm looking at the joints. I feel it. So, uh, Donovan, well, her oh. lungs are very weird. Young. The name will wear it out. Her yeah. lungs are weird. Riley's. Riley. Like, she used to have to do a nebulizer constantly. So okay, like... I said it, Joshua. Oh, okay, yeah. <clears throat> every, that. Time, every time he got a cold, he would go into an asthmatic fit. <clears throat> and Eli as well. So we had a nebulizer, and we would do that, and it was fixed. Yeah. And he's never had a problem since. When was the last time I did it? Oh, my God. Honey. I know, I'm just, like, um, I remember the machine. I, I would say... What did you say? Nebulizers always make me think Sometime, the last yep. time was probably in Oklahoma. That's what I was thinking, because I don't remember doing it yeah, in no, Florida. But I remember playing, Florida. like, Dreamcast with it. Yeah. No, it was mostly when we lived in Michigan and Texas. Other way. And Texas. Oklahoma. Texas? Yeah, <laughs> Texas. Tejas? Oh. Tejas. Oh, Jesus. What do you mean, too? You know, Josh wants me to move to Florida. The floor, so I was trying to push Austin. your head. Johnny, move to Austin. <laughs> yeah, Austin would be fun. I feel like we Austin would be good. A trip. Yeah, Austin's fun. I, I really wish New York wasn't so bad. I I wonder if it's as bad as it city seems now. The city. The city. The country's I, I would, nice. I would live in the city. Well, apparently the city's fun. Apparently the city's really bad. To be honest. Fucking money. Because um, uh, Aaron's family or Gerald, like they, they, they're trying, like they, so they live really love the city. They mm-hmm. live there forever, and he just, he just wants to leave. Like it's, he's saying like it's, it's not That's exactly like, like safe to like to literally just go out for like a stroll for like an hour. That that's what I've heard is that it's it's kind of. It's getting closer to the way it was, like sixty to eighty. Mm-hmm. You know, I kind of like smog, like or no, smog. no, like sketchy. Oh. Like Times Square is not Got like it. the old Times Square was like heroin addicts doing it in the oh. middle of it. So actually, okay. on that note, for example, the Lucerne, it's a it's a hotel that I, we actually stayed at on the Upper West Side. Mm-hmm. It's now completely like not. It used to be like a really good hotel. It's not even that anymore. It's, oh really? It's for homeless people and crack addicts. Oh, wow. Hey, homeless people and crack addicts need a place. Okay? Yeah, but they don't pay. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, not even in crack. Yeah. So I mean, like it's it's kind of going to shit. Yeah, it's it's gonna be a while before it's. It gets better. The it before the two thousands. Yeah, because I mean, like yeah. I would I would have loved to live there. I I really think I would have. I love I love the energy of the city. Yeah, dude, especially when you're trying to make it. Mm-hmm. When you're trying to do something real, it, it helps a lot. I will say Austin has similar vibes, not quite the same, but mm-hmm. it's it's fun. It's a fun place. And like at least the comedy scene is like oh, like, yeah. it's good. Oh, so, I'm, I'm, I'm oh, meant to go to New York. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You wanna sleep? Yes. Yeah. Okay. My brain is fried. Yeah, I think I think we're gonna have to go to sleep soon too for Riley. Sean? So coach said not cracker. Yeah, bring it in, buddy. <laughs> ready. You know like hugs. Oh man! All right. I'll give you a little fist bump or a handshake, or I'll give you a hug. Yeah, you're not. <laughs> wow, are you not gonna hug him because he's gay? If, I don't want to get it on me. I don't want to. I don't want to catch it. You don't want to catch it. You don't want to catch it. All right. Oh, good night. Good night. Good to see you. Are you guys leaving tomorrow? Um, probably. But I don't know what time. Do you know? Eh, tennis. We'll be there. We have to be awake. So we'll be there. Okay. Uh, the help. Yeah, we'll go to shed. Good night. Good morning. See you tomorrow. Sounds like fun. Well, they built they built like one of those like Home Depot one, and they didn't get a anchor for it, so it blew away. With the high of fifty five. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll watch that tonight. To I'll, 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 I'll gladly work out in this type of weather all day. I told her we would. Okay. It doesn't bother. You're gonna do it again. I see you are. I'm sorry. <laughs>